Jumpy, are you all right? Hey, what are you two doing? Come on, aren't you coming? What do you mean to do to us? Try using your brain first. All of the cards are in hand. Holy shit, this is nuts. Let me show you. Doing? Come on, aren't you coming? What do you mean to do to us? Try using your brain first. All of the cards are in. Oh, holy shit, this is nuts. Let me show you.
All right, see. It is Sunday. Just this. There we go. Yep. It is Sunday. We are on the VLR. Double, double bill the VLR because we're on this again tomorrow morning from 9. But yeah, got a lot to get through. I'm trying to remember what happened yesterday. Yesterday. Last week. Not that I'm just today. Um, last week was the blue route, or the cyan route, which is the route. Seems like we were supposed to do it first. Or like, will the devs thought that everyone would naturally blow to first, but... Not me. Not what I'm doing systematically. Um, the way. There we go. That's why. Last week it was quite, it was more of a in-depth look at everything. There's an EW PVV that I'm not going to do. <laughs> so I can get my help, second help in the VLR. Nice. Well, that'll be here from nine. I think we've got, we've done a, we've done a fair amount already. Uh, actually, I actually know what I can do. Which make more sense to have this loaded. Um, so I can go through the flow chart at the same time, or just jump between everything. Um, I don't think these backgrounds ever change. I think I'll just not be paying that much attention to them. Right, so let's get the flow chart. But what we probably should do is there's like no sound for this, so. We do that just so we've got some sort of music, right? Might not be the VLR music. Bye. So last week it would actually make more sense if I was on this screen. And I'll show you that. I'll go through that in a second. Where this thing? Right. So imagine the people won't end until five. If it was 10, like 20 years younger, I'd stay up and sleep up. Oh, God. Remember when we could do that? Remember when we could do that and we wouldn't even need sleep? We could just be like, no, I'm going to stay up all night. I'm going to play some games, watch whatever's on if it was like wrestling. And then be absolutely fine the next day. You'd be fine until bedtime that night. The next night. Candidate, no. Candidate, no. Unfortunately. So last week, right, so this is like, it, it seems like this was the door you're meant to go through first, through the cyan door. Sleep is for the week. Sleep is for the week and then we get, yeah, we get weaker. We are older. Else, Sunday. It's all about the Sundays. How is it going, pal? Sunday. Yeah, last Sundays, it's systematic Sundays. How are you, pal? How have you been? How has your weekend been treating you? How has your weekend been treating you, Sai, actually? You're just in time with no one over anything yet. You also didn't sleep. See, you're... Oh, you're young enough. You can still do this. You can still... You can go with it to sleep. Me and Sai are old. We need to sleep. Actually, we if need to eight hours, just, just enough. Four, four hours of day, me. So I'm to have a boba very soon. Absolutely. You deserve the boba. What type? What type are you going for? Uh, why go for this thing? Ah, you know, you know what's I? It's the boba fet. Don't know if I need to turn up the mic. I'll turn up a wee bit. That should that that, that looks a bit better. It's a different setup. I've written more space out, so I'm conscious of how far away I'm for the mic, but that seems to be okay. Anyway. So last week. We went through the sign door. We got everything explained in a bit more detail, all the stuff that we know, but kind of like, like we're hearing it for the first time. A premium one that sounds very extra. Well, let me just turn the mic up a bit. That should be okay. I think that might be a bit too loud for turn that down a bit. Right. 
that seems to be a nice kind of medium medium in between those two cents it's 24 degrees yeah yeah we've got we've got the heat wave coming in we won't be getting 24 until tuesday-ish time uh maybe wednesday maybe wednesday more midweek we might be hitting 24 and it's pretty much it till next weekend love, love that autumn weather may eh? proper september weather that into the mid 20s but well this went through cyan went through blue whoops they were getting red that's fine we got to this section it's the sunny south coast here i'm sorry in the frozen north <laughs> Crash! Cheers to the raid, pal. Eh. Uh, do you know what? There's, there's plenty of mods in here. Some do crash, even, even yourself. Give yourself a shout out. But how is the rest? Uh, just in time, yep, just in time for the catch up and the theories. Ah, shit, you know what? It's not going to work. You know why? Because my bot's not on. It's going to be two secs. That'll be on in. That may actually work this time. Absolutely setting you up for a fail there, that's not fair. Why is my keyboard knocking? Oh, I know, tell me about it. I was sitting there staring at everything going, I've got everything done. Like everything's there. Apparently not. Right. Let's see, that should work now. Got a pop off, not a problem. Else, hope everything is okay. Bye, yeah. Catch you soon, pal. Right. Okay, your name didn't pop up on the screen, but it popped up in the chat. Oh, fine. That's fine. Is that you? You're all just going to have to take L's part of the bullion and dish it up equally for the rest of this stream. Why are we things not popping up there? Ah, oh, you know what? Oh wait, I don't know what it is. I think I need to have the bot open before it open OBS. It's fine. Anyway, go follow Crash. Doing all the Sona 5 route, also doing the RPG Maker throughout the week. <laughs> you fucking make an all. Mike bot's a dick. Uh, finish today by sharing the bath with Sketchy or Ketchy. Hopefully, fit the correct fat. Hopefully. Unless. I don't know. Some people might like, may like that. You never know. Right. So, where do we get up to last week? Right. So, we went through this route. We'd already, we already know about that in viral medication. So, we're able to slip straight through. And we died. Because Alice did not choose allies, chose betray. It went to minus and we got killed. Straight up deed in that one. But because Alice chose betray for this route, whoops, when we choose betray for this route, it's going to take us to a third game, potentially. But a bonding. But I don't know if at that point yet, he just kind of trauma dumps on us right now. Ah. Uh, get the beginnings of a friendship, eh? That's how it works. So, I mentioned to you, Gratch, we've got, we've got two boards, right? Side, we have two boards now. We've got this one, which is just exploded. Totally exploded. Eh, uh, the last one. The last one was pretty like empty in comparison so we've got two two boards for Tomia. two boards just just to keep us right i think i can put that one up right setting boards up so that should appear we've done we're done with this so this is the this is the connections board right for everything that i can remember all the connections and blah 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 So what we know, Sigma and then Diagonal 
top left. Yeah, uh, Phi. We'll come to the together, that's their connection. The connection between Sigma and K. Big metal man. They share a face. So the red line, the red lines are direct connections, right? The blue one, the blue line is a connection that Sigma and Phi have seen deals ending and Phi took him out with a giant rock, as you do. Behind Dio, we've got the Free the Souls cult emblem, logo. I don't really know what it's called when it's like a cult, but like the symbol, symbol, that sounds better. So we've got the Free the Souls symbol, who are totally 100% against these games. That also links into the bomb on the left hand side, just above Charlie. We found them on this playthrough. Uh, they've, been pla they've been planted about. I found two. I think we found three, bomb three and bomb two. We're missing one and zero. So I didn't just click there. I think I spoiled that for myself that there's four bombs. So well done me. Ruined that for myself. Um, Just below Free the Soul, you can see an old guy with looks like a glass eye. That is Zero Senior. He appeared in one of our playthroughs. I can't remember which playthrough. Um, so I, we know what Zero looks like. Henry Yoshi knows what Zero looks like because in his ending, I was worried you find the pixel spoil stuff. I know. That's the only thing that, that it's kind of ruined, I suppose. It's like Zero. So that implies four bombs instead of three. Uh, to get what you need. Yeah. I think I will do that. I haven't seen anything else. It's just that is, I've just clicked that bomb says double zero. So like there's going to be four. So if I see people, oh, there's three, and I'm like, there's four. But anyway, well, I, in the future, I, I will message and say, do you have a picture of this? Can you get it for me? Well, I, I don't think it's this. I think in the grand scheme of things, it's going to amount to nothing. But. So we got Zero Senior here. Ten Miyoshi knows who's he, who he is. Because in his ending is like, I don't know what that is. I'm going to stop him. And I'm pretty sure it took Quark as well. Quark, who you can see in that green circle with Ten Miyoshi. It's Quark's adopted grandson. Who likes the scalpel. He's tried to kill himself about three times with a scalpel so far. Uh, because of Radical Six. I couldn't actually find the logo for Radical Six. So I just stuck that straight above me. Finger on so high for cuts off. That's the Excelivir, which is the cure to Radical 6. I managed to get, make two of them. We injected. Oh my god, that was a big massive reveal. <sighs> but that run. Hold on a second. That run? This run? The, the, why is my cursor all this? That run there. Alice was actually knocked out through Radical 6, because of Radical 6, um, knocked her out, gave her the uh, cure. Yeah, we found the machine that copied it. I can't remember off the top of my head what this machine was called, but we copied it, we gave it to Quark and Alice. Went in and voted Ally because you know what? Like, Alice is KO'd. She's not going to be voting. She managed to vote the tray. And when Sigma was dying, we saw her standing in the doorway and we're like, excuse me, you should be knocked out. You should not be here. Anyway, that was a big thing. Uh, so Tim Yoji and Clover have got a direct connection. We don't know what it is yet, but I'll go into that in the theories. Again, Alice and Clover are connected because they work together. We've got a wee theory, there's a wee box in there, that's theory. In that in a second. Still don't know anything about Luna. Like not much of a backstory. And then Quark, we've got these lines leading to the Deep Woman. If I just move it the way. There she is. Yeah, don't know enough about her. No, she's got some medical qualification. Uh, so she's trained in medicine. So she's been able to help with using the diagnostics machine and administering the cure and stuff like that. So she's been really helpful. Just don't know anything about her. Um, so yeah, this woman here looks like she was a uh, 
like a mum, adoptive mum, tutor type person. Tutor is probably the wrong type to put in. <laughs> Eight o'clock with clap for Luna, exactly. You know what's that? Um, but I uh, she looked after K when he was younger, uh, and we did get to see baby K in the time the wee wee suit armor. Um, but yeah, she turned up dead on previous playthroughs, but not not the one we went through. Like we went through the cyan door and went through the, the blue door and all that to the ending. Wasn't there, which was weird because she's she appeared in previous runs, so. Don't know where she is at that point, but that's all the connections. This leads us to a theories board. This will be updated, obviously, the text will be smaller, moved a bit, and all that. Might need another board for more theories, but for now, right? These are the theories this way. This way. These are, these are the theories that came so far, right? That Ten Miyoji is actually. Junpei. That Sigmon should be a low Alice and Clover, but Demiyoshi is actually Junpei. Uh, what if Junpei is actually Temyoshi? It could be. E either or. Either or, Crash. Junpei could be Temyoshi. Temyoshi could be Junpei. Who knows? What is Jun as Luna? <laughs> that's, that's what I should have added into Jun as Luna. Actually. Actually. I think this woman here, I think this woman here is actually a canny, but older. Because Tim Yoji's looking for a canny. Am I saying that right? Uh, so this is what's kind of like tied into this top theory that Tim Yoji is Junpei, right? That old woman is actually a canny, but older. And Alice and Clover are the same age because they were kidnapped a year after 999. But they've been cryogenically frozen in those treatment beds. And time has went on and it's actually like 30, 40 ish years later. Like so, some amount of time has went by. Jumpy is no longer 20. He is an old man. He is a. Uh, like old now. He's old, he's old man. He's adopted Quark. He's been looking for a canny because Canny went to look after young K and obviously kept in this uh, I don't know kind of secret lab area to help raise K. So she's grew up she's grew older there whilst K's grown up. Obviously Jumpy's not been able to find her because it's a secret location, blah 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 and the rest of it. Uh, so I so when because he's on the one that's had a really obviously everyone has a negative effect on finding this woman's body but he's taking it really hard and we don't know why Which also leads in to why Clover trusts him explicitly after all he says actually we don't know what he says because he just takes it aside and be like I'll tell you something and you'll vote how I suggest you vote that will make you trust me he tells her this thing, don't know what it is, and she goes, yep, absolutely, 100% trust you fully, Tim Yoji. And I think that's because he's Junpei, but older. Last one, Sigma's a Golem. I don't really have much to back up, back this up. It's just the, the mention, the, when we spoke to the Golem, or Golem, this we guy up here, above Sir Hoppington, uh, Lord Hoppington? I can't remember. Hoppington. Um, they mentioned that the golems can have synthetic skin to pass as human. So, Lord, apologies, Lord Hoppington, thank you, Sai. Golem, just above Lord Hoppington up there. So, this leads me to think that Sigma is probably. Uh, actually, they could all be. Nah, that. All of them being golems, it's like, it doesn't even make sense. Um, Sigma being a golem probably doesn't make much sense, but it makes more sense than all being golems. But all this kind of information is being redistributed and stuff, and they can remember everything. But then why no one else remember being loops? Maybe I'm a golem. Maybe we're all golems. Who knows? I don't know. 
Maybe we are, maybe we aren't. Uh, but yeah, the, seg the Sigmas of Gollum is a pretty loose theory. Just based off the fact that they were told Gollum's have because Gollum's having said it's the synthetic skin, they look human, they can pass to human, and it's never really been brought up. So it could be Gollum, could be Fi. I think one of the people here, I don't think it's Temioji, I don't think it's Clover or Alice. Here, it could be Luna. Um, it could be K, just because K's got the same face as Sigma, or Sigma's got the same face as K, but they share a face. Anyway, it could be that K is the actual human Sigma, the human the Sigma might be his real name, the human version, and Sigma is the Golem version of the human K. Don't know. I think one of them is. At, at least one of them is a Golem. But yeah. So that's it from the theories. Um, but yeah, I think Alice, Alice and Clover were taken years and years ago, frozen. Golem or Golem? I think it's Golem. 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 I know that's not what I'm saying, it sounds like Golem with a U, but I think it's meant to be like the first one. Or just G Olm. Go Golem is some Lord of the Rings. Hey, is this accent in it? Is it Golem or Golem? Golem. But folks say, but a lot of folks say Golem. It's Golem instead of Golem. Golem, yeah. Go go it. Golem's like the proper pronunciation. Golem is, as you say, Lord of the Rings. But yeah, that's it for the theories. I need to figure out what's happening with Alice though. I mean, this doesn't make much sense. That's not what proper is either. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe maybe we're all right, maybe we're all wrong. Who knows? But that's it for the connections board. I keep calling it conspiracy. I mean connections board. We've got our theories. Let's ask an old Jewish. Could that's an old Jewish person? They would know. Golems are part of Judaism. What's the word? Uh, history? Um, but yeah. Lore, that's the word. Thank you, Sai. All we talk about is lore every time you get a big deep dive and the name just, the word just completely went on my head. So, where we're going to kick off just now, we've been through the Sai and Doa. Say law for half, maybe not. No, I think law would. I suppose law is a more. It's a better way of phrasing it than mythology, because mythology it's not like. Well, it's all myth, it's all fate, blah, blah, blah. Um, law, I think, is a more respective term for talking about people's religion. So I think. The, the Judaism law. Dark Lord Noir, how are you doing, pal? Uh, the Golem is a folktale of Jewish legend in Prague. Right? There we go. It's nice to be information. Thank you for that. Uh, but it's definitely Golem. Golem. God, I'm saying it again. Golem. Golem. As in go. Do not pass go. Go pass go. Anyway. Anyway. Aye. I'm going to end up switching. I'm not even going to notice how I'm saying it. I'm going to end up switching between the two. I might even come up with a third pronunciation halfway through the stream. I don't know. You know what? I'm like pronunciations. Uh, created by the Rabbi of Prague to defend him from intolerance. Nice, these golems seem to be different. God, hey, there's the other one. That's another spelling. Golem. Oh wait. Golem. 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 Oh, there's too many pronunciations. And I'm gonna get I'm gonna get them all wrong. Go Liam. No one says Kerberos with a K sound and it's actually the right way. The same way that Nike is actually Nike, not Nike, because the company's based off of the Greek god Nike. Kerber, Kerber, just say that. Kerber, no Cerberus, no Kerberus. Kerber, us. That's how I'm saying it. 
gall um, as in you've got some gall golem golem that's your third pronunciation right there how do you pronounce mick i say mick say a mick whoever you like you know what's interesting the game among us will not let me have the name mick because it is a drug to turn to irish people and you're like you know cool love that no one else does it just just among us does this mean they're french well who knows could be I think of both drugs have been problematic names since 86 pretty much it's like I mean, I'm not going to say it's not. Although, like, is that an I, I think it's an anti-Irish thing. I think it's like, um, I think it's just a word that's used to describe somebody that's Irish or they're, they're a mick, and you're like, I don't think it's really used much anymore. Like to describe that because like, there's always so many people with the, the name but I don't know no, but if Among Us don't want it in the game that's up to them it's, it's fine I was going to say well being part Irish I can choose to say it but then it's like everyone in Scotland is part Irish so <laughs> uh, extremely offensive words for a person from Ireland or a Roman Catholic well there we go I, but it, it doesn't matter that I was raised Catholic and I'm part Irish, so does that matter? To take the Mickey Bliss is short for taking the piss at someone. I love, love Cockney rhyming slang. Just so nonsense because sometimes you just say the words. Say the words. Say what you, want, say what you mean. Right. Let's if we jump back here. So we can skip all this. No idea that's that's it. Hey, I don't think anyone knows who that is. Even the people that coined the phrase probably don't know. They're just like, you know what? Do you know what? I like I like a bit of rhyme. Just be like, oh, take your Mickey Bliss and people are like, who's that? And you're like, oh. Rhyme so then it's nice. Loads. Oh. Bye. So we got to this point. Do we vote straight away? Right, so we vote with Luna. So we were at the garden, a uh, bee garden, I think it was called the betray garden. B garden. We should assume there's an A garden, but we haven't come across that. Um, we voted ally last time. With the assumption that Alice was going to default to Ally because she is KO'd, she's in the infirmary, she's not she's nowhere near here. She's out yet. She's been uh, injected with stuff to calm her down and then injected with a uh, Accelivere. So she should be KO'd, but when we chose Ally last week, she was standing in the doorway and she chose Betray and Sigma's gone, ejected for the bracelet, blah blah blah. So, should be, should be Noir, because Quattle was infected with Radical 6, Alice was infected with Radical 6, um, managed to subdue her, knock her out, give her the cure, so her and Quark are meant to be in it, are meant to be in the infirmary, with Tim Yoshi I think. Did he stay behind? I'm pretty sure Tim Yoshi stayed behind. Um, but yeah, she should have been there. And that other route, she actually voted for Trace Sick instead. So, when I choose Betray, I'm assuming she's going to be there. So, we're going to get no points. So, I think we're still going to be at two, one point. I think one point. Let's just vote and find it. So, the assumption is that Alice and Infinity. Treatment center. 
Luna and I stepped out of the AB room. Why? What happened to... It's not fair to betray someone who isn't voting. Give a minute, Luna. Just I get thought... a sec. God, man. Ev every route... Luna's trust is just shattered. There was nothing I could think of to say. Even I didn't really understand why I picked Betray instead. Points, man. Points! It almost felt unconscious. Like some other part of my mind was making the decision. Mm, who do you trust the most? Nobody. Well, I don't even trust Sigma. <laughs> I don't know who to trust anymore. Perhaps I've been possessed by some sort of evil spirit that had moved my finger to the betray button against my will. Right, well, we should go see the results. Please, we already know what they are. It's just simple math. I don't think so. The look in her eyes was more painful than any punch I'd ever taken. Taking a lot of punches. I turned away and almost ran toward the projector. Anything to get away from those eyes. Results from Ratley's Oops. direct your attention. Alright, to the screen. Oh, right. Right, so Temi Oju did definitely stay back. I'll stand in there. Stand in there. That deal, that deal picking fucking betray. Because Temioji's in the infirmary with Quark and presumably Alice. Points have been assigned. Please yeah, yeah, yeah. Check your... That classic fucking deal, man. <laughs> Always with a betray. What? Exactly. It wasn't possible. I blinked, rubbed my eyes, and looked again. Yep. No. How can Alice's vote be betray? Not possible. There she is. She was standing inside the second room from the left. The room that should have been empty. If he were a bad human, he'd be dead. Oh, I actually, he would be. Well, Tim Yoshi would be at least. My mind was still reeling. Where had she come from? As I was trying to form a sentence, she began to move towards us. But around me, I had a chorus of muted gasps. It seemed we were united in a surprise and confusion. Alice Drea stopped in front of me and glanced up at the display. Thought you'd get an easy couple points, huh? Not so easy when you have to look your victim in the eye, is it? What? Coward. What? Me a coward? You got some balls saying that to me after you picked Betray. Why are you even here? You gave me the antivirus, didn't you? Tenmyoji told me. Thank you. I mean that from the bottom of my heart, honestly. But you should still be under the effects of the anaesthetic. Anaesthetic, thank you, Luna. That's the word. Yes, well, I still am. <laughs> Keep saying they've been killed. Put her under anaesthetic. That's the way you phrase it. Throbbing headache, and I can barely stand. It's horrible. I still came to vote. I'm more resistant to anaesthetics than most people. A result of my training. I have a feeling Zero Senior knew that. They gave me way more than the standard dose of that gas when they kidnapped me. In any event, a few minutes ago I woke up in the infirmary. Tenmyoji explained what was going on and I got here as fast as I could. So we showed up right after we got into the AV room. Yes. Right in the nick of time, too. About 10 seconds before the deadline, as I recall. You did that just so you could betray us? Right. What? Don't I get to do that? I mean, it turned out to be the right thing to do, didn't it? But if I chose Ally, you would have killed me. You two chose betray. If I'd stayed back there, I'd have lost two points. But Sigma would be dead. So you're saying it was self-defense? Yes. <laughs> you're full of shit. Self-defense, my ass. You chose betray because you wanted... You had six VP. If I'd picked Ally, you would have had nine. That's what you'll try to do, right? So what if I was? Are you serious? You would have killed me. I only have one BP. You were this close to murdering me. This close. Just admit it. You were planning to kill me so you could escape. Don't be stupid. I knew you'd choose betray. Did you? There was... 
Tell the that truth. Is the truth. Why am I the only one getting the third degree here? Look at those results. Two other people just tried to kill someone. Yeah, but we don't care about them. It's all about me here. Fate, Fi, and Dio. Yes. Me, Fi. If Dio had chosen ally, Fi would have killed Tenmyoji. And if she'd chosen ally, Dio would have killed her. It's because we all know Dio's always going to choose Betray. Also, it's the third degree from the person who you might have had killed exactly. I think Sigma's well within his rights. He's not going to turn around and go, oh, what about them? Is it what about me? But me is who you tried to kill. Like, they can hash that out themselves. You tried to kill me here. So let's just... <laughs> perspective, please, Alice. Not that it seems to have worked. If either one had chosen ally, the other one would have 9 BP right now. So this is the route that no one trusts anyone under any circumstances. Good to know. I turned to look at the results again. Before, I'd only been looking at my own. I hadn't realised there was only one word across the roster. Betray. Whoever trust we'd managed to build had fallen apart. Everyone was suspicious of everyone else. Had it been the bombs? Or had it been something else? In fact, they just don't know each other. But whatever the reason, if I kept, if it kept up, we'd never manage to escape. We'd be trapped in a cycle of zero point rounds for the rest of our life. Something had to be done. I closed my eyes and took a deep breath. All right, guys, pay attention. You've probably already figured this out, but we can't keep going like this. If we don't start being a little more trusting, we're never going to get out of here. We need to work together. I might as well have been talking to a wall. My apologies, Sigma. But I need to think on something for a bit. I would appreciate being left alone. Okay. I'll be leaving too. Things are getting a little too intense here for my delicate constitution. Sorry. Okay, well, dear. In that case. Eh, two if I. Yeah. Sorry. Without another word, she turned and left the bathrooms. D and K quickly followed suit. See, there's your answer. In the end. Everyone's just thinking about themselves. So I would appreciate it if you could not treat me like I'm the only villain here. Oh, I'm not. You're just one of them. Come on, Clover. Let's go. Hold on! I'm coming! Are you feeling okay? I was really worried, you know? I watched them walk away, Clover practically jumping with delight to have Alice back. Before long, they reached the yellow door and disappeared beyond it. Gone. You aren't going to leave her? No. Are you sure? I chose Betray. I know, but I still believe in you, Sigma. I think your hand must have just slipped or something. Yeah, Lana slipped. Is that it? How's it going, pal? How are you? How was your weekend? Been treating you. Right? My chest hurt and when I blinked, I felt something hot and wet prick the corners of my eyes. And I... I bit my lip. Bit my lip. Before I could think of anything to say, the metallic rumble of the doors closed and echoed through the warehouse. The Ambidex gates have closed. Round three of the Ambidex game will be... Star the round. Do well. A lot going on, but hopefully I can stay a while. Not a problem. Hope everyone's okay where you are. You guys been good? Weekend's been all right. It's been very good. Star keys are required right, to So we got another... Another puzzle room there then. There is no set limit on usage of the star keys. The Ambidex gates can be opened as many times as the players wish to open them. As many times as you want, eh? As long as we have the star keys, that means we can keep playing the AB game over and over too. Um, yep. Sigma, could you show me your bracelet? Do you remember Hi. what Zero Junior said? 
soon as the gates close, your colors get all shuffled up automatically. The pair and solo assignments hop around a bit too. <laughs> yeah, I remember. Let's see here. Cyan pair. Oh, yeah. Cy, I can um, Zarek, I can quickly show you them. So we've got bold one. Right, so we got all of this. This is all the connections and blah 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 and all the rest of it. Uh, and also, oh wait, the theories boards. So these are the theories I've got so far. By if you catch the start, the first twenty-ish minutes or so, going to a deep dive into all those. Are but yeah, all right, Zarek. We kept forgetting what it was, so I was like, you know what? We're going to put it up. Up on the screen, so if I get one, if they usually get green first, so like just just to remind us that not actually still got one to go, so it's just, just to keep us all right. It should be the easiest thing to remember. I can remember all that other stuff, but when it comes to is it blue or green, is the bonus or normal? I just it's just not staying. I'm a magenta pair. Excuse me. I wonder what the others are. Anything, I suppose. We won't know until we have a look. We've got about hour twenty. Eight minutes until the next set of chromatic doors open. These are the white doors. Sorry. I really, really get anything. I want to detect the board and everything. I thought I would just keep a theories board because I would go with my theories and then I'd get forget and keep track. So it's to, to at least keep keep myself right but I've got anything new that comes up for this stream it's gonna get packed in the, the connections board and I'll update the theater board if I need to and also you know Zarek just in case you need to pop out uh, uh, suddenly I will be streaming this tomorrow as well 9am BST I can't remember how many hours ahead you are I think I might be a bit lunchtime-ish for you just so you know Physically and emotionally. I really don't like how this is going. Oh my, how many times you repeat the AB game if nobody trusts anybody else? We'll never be able to get here. It would help if we all had a common goal. Something to unite our hearts and minds. Getting out. We've already got something like that. We <laughs> want to get out. There we go. Seems like a pretty clear goal to me, but everybody chose betray. Including me. Well, what if we have an enemy? An enemy? Yes. Like the person who set the bombs, for instance. May have to make cash during lunch. Nice. Be nice to see you. There's always nice to see you in here. Ask coming back from the lab, I told her about the bomb while she gave Alison Quap the Excelivion. Hmm. Yeah, that may work. If we can figure out which one of us planted those bombs and everyone else has worked together against them. How would you figure out who it is? Do you have any clues? No. Oh, the memory card. I completely forgot about that. I pulled it in my pocket and held it to water. What's this? I told you, a memory card. It was under the bomb we found in the lab. I think whoever set the bomb dropped it. Yeah, I don't know what's on it though. Couldn't find any kind of memory card reader. Oh, I guess we can't really use it then. Oh, wait a second. You know what? I think I might have seen something. Yeah. Yes, I remember. The infirmary. I saw it when I was searching the infirmary that was Leo and Quark. That's where we heard the recall and the first time was in the infirmary. It was a memory card just like that one. Then yes, I think we can see what's on it. The computer there should be able to read it. Fucking good fucking job, Luna. Well done. Luna and I exploded into the infirmary, nearly running into Alice, Clover and Tim Yoshi. Quark was there as well, of course, but it was just as we'd left him, asleep in the bed. What are you doing here? Free country on it, Alice. I opened my mouth to retort and thought better of it. If I really wanted people to start trusting each other, well, real change starts at home. How very grown up are you, Sigma? As quickly as I could, I explained the second bomb and the memory card, and how we'd come to the infirmary in hopes we could discover the contents of the latter. Okay. Then stick it in already! Go ahead. 
Right. Just as Luna has said, there was a small slot under the screen exactly the right size to fit a memory card. The moments the screen was filled with what appeared to be random letters. Oh no. <sighs> cool. Six rows, 22 letters each. It looks like the odd rows use one set of letters and the even rows use another set. In other words, the first two rows just repeat. Yeah. Some kind of code. That doesn't look random to me. I think there might be a pattern. I just don't know what it is. Was there anything else on there? No, it doesn't look like it. So all we have is this gibberish. Alice, you haven't said it in for a while. What's up? Does any of this look familiar to you, Clover? Um, what do you mean? Bring your own. <laughs> Bring your own. Hmm. Have you seen something like this before? Maybe during your training? Training? <gasps> this is... So you do recognize it. All right, knock it off, you two. How about you share it with the rest of the class? Outside and stretch the neck from side to side. I believe this is an encoded message from a terrorist organization. What? They call themselves the Myrmidons. Myrmidons. For some reason, I feel like I've heard that name before. What are the Myrmidons? Put simply, they're a bunch of thugs who are trying to destroy or dismantle most of human civilization. So this thing we're looking at, you think it's theirs? Well, they have a number of different codes, but I do think this is one of them. This is a group that deals part of them, so Deal should be able to read this. Then the bomb? Not that we're going to ask him. It was said by one of the Myrmidons, wasn't it? Yes. Well, I can't say for sure, of course, but it seems likely. I've got a ton of questions for you. But let me start with this one. The heck does that thing say? I don't know. How am I supposed what? to decode it? I don't have the key. Without a key, it would take literally hundreds of years to decode. Fair. What about you, Clover? Well, if Alice doesn't know how, I sure don't. I see. <clears throat> what should we can do then? We can come back to that code stuff later. I've got another question. Alice, Clover, where the hell are you? Why do you know about this That's... code? You told me your job was to eliminate enemies of the state or something like that. Just what the hell kind of a job is that? Secret service type job? I think it's time you told us what you do. Sorry, but I can't. Why not? Because you might be one of them. You might be the person who set the bomb. Do you know what? Fair. That's idiotic. Of course really? I'm not the... And where's your proof? For all I know, you're my enemy. I can't tell you anything. Exactly. I'm not your enemy, I'm your ally, I'm your friend. I just want all of us to get out of here. Just please tell us. I mean, it's going on a bit thick, it? We need to find out who did this so we can all escape. But we have too little information and we need your help. Fine, if you don't tell us about yourself, then just tell us about the Myrmidons. What else do you know about them? I'm sorry. Before I could blink, she leapt up and ran out of the room. Wait, Alice? I took off after her. How long are you going to keep following me? Until you tell me what you know. Why don't you just ask Clover? You already Clover. know she works with me. Oh then yeah. Why don't you... I wanted to hear it from you. Why? That's a good question. Remember the crew quarters of this garden? We got paired up for two separate rounds. That means I've spent more time with you than anybody else here. The Garden of Intimate Conversation. <laughs> that's, that's what we'll call it for knowing. The GIC. Maybe that's it. I guess I'm just curious about you. What are you talking about? She spun around to hide it, but I caught a blush of red in her cheeks. We walked down the path to where it ended next to the pond. I don't know who just gave that as. I doubt that somebody's buried there, but you never know. I stayed silent. Alice sat down on the bench. We gazed at the smooth surface of the pond for several long minutes before she began to speak. You don't it's hate me? Big low drop then. The pillow of shame coming up. Oof. I Why? Tried to kill you. you mean in the AB game? Yes. When else, Sigma? 
I was so scared. Who wouldn't be? Kidnapped and locked up, forced to play some sort of bizarre game. And then we found that bomb. I know I probably sounded calm, but as soon as we found that thing, all I wanted to do was run away from it as fast as I could. Do not come here. Things just went downhill from there. What do you mean? I remember hearing that Quark had collapsed and running to the infirmary with everyone else. When I got there, I realized I couldn't understand what anyone was saying. And everything looked... I don't know how to describe it. It was like watching a video on Fast Forward, only it was real. It's not radical sex, then I started to feel like... It's hard to explain. I guess you could say I didn't feel like I was myself, and it only got worse. That was probably the radical sex. Yes, I think so. I don't remember much after that. But when I woke up in the infirmary, suddenly all that fear was back. So I... All I could think about was getting out of this place as fast as I could. It never even crossed my mind that it could kill you. God help me, even if it had, I don't think I would have cared. I mean, fair. See? I'm horrible. You hate me, don't you? Just do it! Do what? Kill me! Get it over with! The hell, Alice? I'm not gonna kill you. I don't even hate you. You're lying! I could have killed you. I would have killed you. Well, technically you did in the past run, but, you know. Come on, calm down. No one's killing anyone. Except for the person planting the bombs. A single tear rolled down Alice's cheek. Then another, and another, leaving shining lines across her face. When I reached out, I saw her tense just slightly. Slowly, I brushed my thumb across her cheek and off, taking her tears with it. Why are you doing this? You know, you kind of remind me of my father. That's who you're after, right? The people who killed your dad? Yes. Do they have anything to do with the Myrmidons? I a yes. not to tell Clover that I cried. If you keep your mouth shut. I'll tell you what you want to know about myself and about the Myrmidons. Deal? Go off, but my lips are sealed. Not crying. I don't remember any crying. Good. All right then. Alice took a deep breath and began. Big lord drop. My father is Egyptian, but my mother is French. They met while my mother was in Egypt on vacation and married shortly thereafter. When I was three, we all moved to the US. My father was a scientist and his field was cloning. Cloning? People with... Two people with Sigma's face here. Anyway, he was recruited by an American lab, which is why we moved. Both my parents had used English around me for the time I was born, so I didn't have any problems adapting to life in the US. By my ninth birthday, we'd been there for six years. That was when it happened. In the middle of the day, my mother showed up at school. Her eyes were red and puffy, but she didn't say anything to me on the drive home. When we arrived, there were several policemen there to meet us. My father had always been a very punctual man, and when dinner time came and went with no sign of him, even I began to realise something terrible had happened. It wasn't until several years later that I finally learned the truth. My father's lab had been attacked by terrorists and he had been kidnapped. For the rest of my childhood, my mother raised me by herself. I didn't realise it then, but it must have been incredibly difficult for her, as a single mother alone in a country where any relatives were a transatlantic flight away. She did her best not to let me see it, but every so often when she thought she was alone, the mask would fall away, and in every line of her face I could see exhaustion and loneliness. As much as I miss my father, it was those moments that made me wish more than anything that he'd never been taken. Fortunately, I was an excellent student and did especially well in math. I earned a full ride, a full ride scholarship straight out of high school and spent the next several years studying. After graduation, I took a job with the Department of Defence, hoping that they might have the resources to help me look for my father. I was immediately assigned to the Special Office of Internal Security. Their purpose is to investigate and sometimes deal with terrorist organisations and other serious threats to the state. I could tell my mother wasn't happy about my decision, but she chose, chose to remain silent about it. Eventually I learned that the terrorist organisation that had taken my father was none other than the Myrmidons, although at the time that name didn't mean anything to me. They were suspected of human cloning. Specifically, it was thought that they had been using cloning techniques to copy the most useful members and expand their ranks. 
the Myrmidons apparently believed that they could use cloning to create a new race of humans. Does that mean D was a clone? Now, at last, I knew the reason for my father's abduction. The commander of the Myrmidons is a man named Leth. We know his name and his gender, but not his appearance or his age. The Myrmidons are closely associated with the cult known as Free the Soul. We believe that Free the Soul provides the funding. Oh, I thought Free the Soul were Myrmidons. Right, okay, so it's like Myrmidons, no, Free the Soul, then Myrmidons. Right. But try to put any kind of misdeed on the cult's leader, a man named Brother is like trying to nail Jello to a wall. Brother is supposed to be fairly advanced in years and rumours say he's so old he can't even get out of bed. Unfortunately his mind seems, as sharp, seems to be as sharp as ever. At that point I hit a wall. I knew the Myrmidons had been behind my father's kidnapping but that was all I could learn about them. Then one day I got a tip that some of them were hiding in a building in the Nevada desert. Didn't they see as much? Or at least they all came from brother. Ah, oh, they all came from brother so that, yeah. I suppose that would mean they've all been cloned. Aye, so they are all clones of brother then. Brother just looks like he's like, got longer hair, I guess. So I that would make sense that he's a clone then. I headed out immediately. On the way there, my car had some engine trouble, engine trouble installed out. But he's fucked up and was doing this job to earn his way back. Yeah, I think that, aye, that sounds about right. So he's, he's, he's going to prove that he he is one of them, that he that he belongs to be there as part of Free the Soul, or Myrmidons. Free the Soul? Free the Soul. Oh, I'm so confused though, what's what? Free the Soul are the financial backers of Myrmidons, but they're both based at terrorist organisations. Deal was part of them. He's a clone of Brother, fighting to get his way back in who are totally against these games, which is why the bomb's been planted. I think that's where we're at. Right. So this is Alice heading towards where 999 took place. On your there, my car some engine trouble and stalled out. I was trying to decide what to do when an SUV appeared out of nowhere. I'll give you one guess who was behind the steering wheel. Clover. That was the first time we met. There were four other people in the car with her, and when I asked them what they were doing, a eh, what they were doing, I got what was just about the last answer I'd expected. It's only they've been locked up inside the very building I've been on my way to investigate, and they were currently in the pursuit of the people who had kidnapped them in the first place. Myrmidons are the elite of Free the Soul, right? Got you. So they are like the same thing, but Myrmidons is like big bosses. Cool. Big bosses, the elite. So it's sort of like interchangeable. Okay. They are one. Group, cool, right. Got you. <laughs> My priorities shifted very quickly. After a short discussion, I convinced them to allow me to come along. My hope was to find the people they were chasing, who I was certain were Myrmidons. In the end, however, we were unable to track them down. In fact, I still don't know where they might have gone. Eventually, I took Clover and her companions to the source headquarters. We decided that involving the police would only complicate things. After some questioning, it was determined that the people who had instigated this particular event were not connected to the Myrmidons. We did, however, discover that the mysterious disappearance and subsequent reappearance of seven children nine years prior was connected to Free the Soul. There was also a sixth person in the SUV, although they weren't riding in it per se. A middle-aged man who I'll call H for now had been bound and placed in the trunk. According to the other four, he had been behind the disappearance of the children nine years earlier. We also learned that his pharmaceutical company, a major player on the world stage, was effectively controlled by Free the Soul. More specifically, I suppose H is a member of Free the Soul and very committed to their cause. What? I thought Free the Soul hated these games. So why had he kidnapped all those children? Apparently, it had been part of an experiment designed to test the, ster the ability of certain people to access what's called the morphogenetic field. Don't imagine you've ever heard of it before, so I'll try and give you a quick rundown. Simply put, these people can access a sort of field that allows their consciousness to resonate with the consciousness of, other of certain other people. To be honest, it might be simpler if I call it telepathy. The source had heard of this particular ability before, and had actually used it in a number of investigations, so I wasn't surprised to learn of its existence. 
I was shocked to learn that these experiments had been carried out by a member of Free the Soul. If that was the case, then Brother must have known about it. The thought of him discovering a way to control and harness that power was terrifying. It wasn't too long after the incident in Nevada that another tip about the Myrmidons crossed my desk. This time it claimed that the Myrmidons intended to launch a large-scale biological terrorist attack. My boss has decided to need more agents to deal with the threat uh, of that magnitude and Clover was recruited. Because she'd been a test subject in the H's experiment, we knew she had the ability to access the morphogenetic field and we wanted to put that ability to use. After several months of training, she was sent on her first mission. She would be tasked with the infiltration and investigation of a Myrmidon cloning lab. I was assigned to be her commanding officer. I hoped an investigation might also give me a lead on my father's whereabouts. At last I had a chance to find out what had happened to him. I wouldn't let that chance pass me by. Perhaps that's what kept me from noticing the truth. The whole operation was a trap. The lab was fake and Clover was captured almost immediately. I got there as fast as I could but when I arrived the building was only an empty shell. All of the conspirators who had pretended to be researchers in the lake had already fled. I searched frantically for Clover until at last, in a basement room I found her. She had been tied to a chair but on the floor next to her was another body. It was my father. He looked as if he'd just been dumped there and when I got to him his body was already cold. He was covered in dark, ugly bruises. It wasn't until later that I learned he died from ruptured organs and internal bleeding. They had beaten him to death. As soon as Clover had been captured, a mere Madonna in a mask came, had come to visit her. He said that unless she wanted to end up like my father, she would leave them alone and tell her masters at the sowers to, to do likewise. In retrospect, they must have known who I was and who my father was. That was why they killed him. Perhaps they thought they were sending a message to me. Or that once he was gone, I'd lose my reason for chasing them. Well, they were very, very wrong. I took Clover with me and left. I tried to console myself with the fact that I had at least been able to save her. Sometime later, I received a call from the coroner. He told me there was something I needed to see. There in the morgue was my father, cold and pale on a steel table. I could barely stand to look at him, but the coroner insisted. On his arm were two rows of numbers comprised of eights and nines. It took me a moment to recognise my father's handwriting. He had carved them into his own skin. On his chest was another message, but they were letters this time, not numbers. Not many, just enough to make a short sentence. I love you, Alice. I broke down crying right there in the mock. They were the first tears I'd shed since the operation had started and there was no stopping them. There would be no forgiveness. Not for the monsters that put my father through this. They destroyed my family. I would make them pay even if I had to die to do it. That night I made a promise to myself. I would avenge my father. It didn't take long to figure out that the numbers he'd written were latitude and longitude. They pointed to a chemical factory that had been disguised as, disguised as an abandoned building. Further investigation revealed that that was the mother lode we'd been looking for, the headquarters of the Myrmidons. I think my father must have known how things would turn out. Knowing he was going to die, he'd written down directions to our enemy's fortress and his own body. He sacrificed too much for me to waste this opportunity with recklessness. This time our operation would succeed. This time I wouldn't let my excitement put Clover or any of my other agents in, dan in danger. So we took our time, we gathered information, we did our research and we planned. Finally we were ready. December 25th, 2028 was going to be the day we finally set foot inside the Myrmidon stronghold. Then on the 22nd, only three days before the operation was scheduled to begin, a man in a gas mask appeared. So you inhaled that gas, passed out and woke up here in the AB room. Yes. Well, there it is. Everything that's happened with the Myrmidons and me. I left a few of the details out, of course, but you get the idea. I've got the gist. She gave me a sad sort of smile and stood up. We should go back. Not yet. Your story explained a lot, but there's still one big question. Which is? Who here is a Myrmidon? One of us planted the bombs. And based off the code we found, it's pretty clear that person 
it's pretty clear that person is a Myrmidon, yes. right? And I do need to figure out who they what are. Do you propose we do? Well, that's what I wanted to ask you about. Do you have any clues? Yes. Hmm. Well, if I could decrypt that code, it might tell us something, but... How can we do that? I told you, we need a key. Without that, it's pointless. What's a key? A key is a key. It allows you to sort of unlock a code. Myrmidons yep. usually use this huge string of numbers as a key. Wait, a long string of numbers? Could that be... Seven eight one five three six one zero nine eight eight three eight zero nine four two four one nine nine zero five five one. What the hell? He was convinced of a string of numbers. It's that way. No, that's the chief. No mind. I was almost as surprised as she was. Numbers just numbers had just kind of appeared in my mind. I was saying them before I knew what I was doing. Alice looked at me incredulously, and I stared back. Where did wait? Can you say that again? Uh. Blah, 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 blah. I mean, this just makes him seem like a Myrmidon, but, you know. That's 198,449,351 to the third power. Do you know what? You know what, Alice? I'm going to take a word for it. Whatever you say. That number you just told me. Prime factor decomposition on that number gets you 198,449,351 to the third power. Yep. Talking about reducing an integer to a series of prime numbers that you multiply together to get, right? Like if you have 30, then you'd get 2 times 3 times 5. Exactly. You probably learned that in junior high, right? Yeah. So you're saying that that number is a prime. And if you multiply it by itself 3 times, you get that number. Don't tell me you just did all that in your head. I did do all of that in my head. Simple mental arithmetic. Okay. It's impossible. I'm better at math than most people. That's not what better at math. You? you just recited a huge string of numbers. It's simple. And it's just, it's junior high stuff, and it? That seems pretty astounding, too. Where did you find that number anyway? I didn't know what to say. What would I tell that it just came to me? Can't tell me, huh? Fine. I'm pretty sure that's the key to the code. I know the Myrmidons use prime factors for their keys. And there aren't a lot of 25-digit numbers that turn out to be the third power of a prime number. Okay. I think there's a very good chance that number you memorized was specifically created by someone. Uh, could you explain that with small ones? Look at the prime factors of your number. 198,449,351 to the third power. I think that's our hint for cracking the code. Okay. You still don't get it? Try to remember the code we saw in the infirmary. What did it say on the monitor? I think the first row was... All of that. And the second row? Yeah. I think. Then they just repeat. Wow, you've got a pretty impressive memory. We could really use someone like you back at the... Oh. Well, keep going. How do we decode that? 198,449,351 to point you to the right letters. Yes. How do we do that? Well, the first number is 1, so take the first letter. The next number is 9, so go 9 letters over from the first one. Then 8 from that one. Uh, okay. Just keep going until you get something. Make sense? Yeah. Another one just in my head. The prime number Alice gave me was 198449351. I don't think I'll need to write it down, but I'm going to just in case. So, one, nine, eight, nine, one. So we get picked out the letters like she'd explained. First letter would be C in the top left. Then you'd move nine to the right, which gives you O. And eight more to the right. Eventually we'd get a word. And that word was... Oh, right. Right, hold on. One, nine, eight. Four, four, nine, three, one. So starting with C. Oh my god, that's a uh, game over. Game over. That is. Okay, right. Of course, you won't be displayed by impure answers, so it'd be wise to solve it now. The key is this one, nine, eight, 
44935 one. <laughs> Do you know what? That's lucky that shit. That say that's it because I missed that five. One nine eight. Four four nine three five one. Fuck. Right. So we <gasps> What? Yes, Sai, please give me a photo. I thought that was going to stay there and let me decode that. <sighs> Jeez, Oz, man. What even is that? No, no, but told me not. That's not cheating. I need that code. I need that code. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you for that. Right. Got to save that. <sighs> Honestly, man. Right. I told you I don't take enough notes. I don't think I'd need to take uh, notes for that. Uh, let's see if I move over here. So I can still see. Right. So if we start, we start with C, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So eight from that. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. L. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is it E? One, two, three. Yeah, fresh. Yeah, I think it's going to say completed. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I can put that. Yeah, I can put that on. Um, let's see. Right. Um. Just let me just adjust this. Right. Just pop that there so you can see. Right. Huh. So you can actually one point in that. So So we start with C and then we go along nine. I guess this game looks so dusty. We'll just we'll just pretend this is the game somehow. So we'll go on name we get to O. We go along a further A to N A R A X D F M. So C O M and four to the end of the line for P. Four from that onto the next line brings us to the L of the B Y O L. Another nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine brings us to E. Three after that, Q G T. Three T. Five after that, K R T L. Brings us to E. And one after that to D. So the answer. <laughs> moment of truth here. Should be completed. Six tries and game over, man. That is stressful. And it's got the cheek to have that in front of us. Did it complete it? That's the answer. Are you sure? Yeah. Did exactly what you told me to do, and the one I got is completed. Well, actually, it's completed, completed, completed. Coding the letters repeat every two lines. It just repeats. Well, I can't remember the code like you can, but if you're certain, I believe you. Definitely right, certain. Then. I wonder what completed is supposed to mean though. Bombs? Aside from the obvious, you mean? I'm guessing here it means mission complete. So 
that's what transmitter was for. Huh? What are you talking about? What transmitter? Why oh, is it going to remember this deal? I barely even heard it. Suddenly my mind was full of memories that hadn't been there a moment before. It was like a wave had washed away the sand, revealing a bed of precious gems underneath. I guess we've not had the... We've not had the old woman being found in this... Oh no wait. No we haven't. Oh holy father. Holy brother. Holy master. Oh he's remembering everything. Knows the steel. He needs to find the old before he like, starts killing people. It's just so fucking buzzing to see how this goes. Damn it, why hadn't I realised it before? I can remember it serious in numbers, but not this. At least I remembered it now. Dio was a member of the Myrmidons. Not just any member, he was the leader. That meant he had to be the one who planted the bombs. Hey, are you listening to me? <laughs> then answer yeah. Mike, what the hell was Oops. that? What's this about a transmitter? Didn't trust myself to try and explain it to her. More than likely, she'd just think I was insane. Even I could barely make sense of the sudden influx of new information. Wait. Don't tell me you're one of the Myrmidons. I would have got to that point before now when he's like, Oh, that's number. That's how you decode that. If I was real, I think I'd review myself like this. Point. Out of nowhere, Clover appeared. It's not good. Oh, there you are. I've been looking all over for you. We're all down really? floor B warehouse. Well, all of us but Luna and Clark. Why? 45 minutes until the white doors open. Okay. Hey, wait a minute. I thought you and Quark didn't know about the white doors. Tenmyoji told us about them. He said he'd show us where they were. So we mm. all followed him down to the Floor B warehouse. I'm assuming you left Quark with Luna? Yeah, anyway. When we showed up, Fi and Kay were already there. Well, so? all of a sudden, Fi, Tenmyoji, and Dio all started yelling at each other. Why? Okay. Did something happen? According to Clover, the last AB game had been be had been the cause of their fight. Even though Tenmyoji only had one BP, Fi had chosen Betray. They started to fight and since Dio had pressed Betray on behalf of his team, eventually he got dragged into it. That seems odd. Fi only had one BP too. Choice seems like a perfectly valid defensive move. Yeah, oh, but just come with me. Kay's trying to calm them down, but there's only one of him. Yep. Okay, okay, come on, Alice, let's go. I don't even know how this is gonna end. Like this run, I mean. Actually saying that most of them just came out of nowhere. There's only... Mmm, exactly. Is the only one okay? All four of them were still there when we arrived. It seemed to have calmed down a bit, but the tension in the air was almost visible. I felt like I stepped in a room full of flammable gas. Even the smallest spark has done the whole place at their raging inferno. Even Kate, usually so calm and collected, was standing ramrod straight with his hand balled in their fists at his side. I looked at Alice, pursed my lips, and then headed over to the angry knot of people occupying most of the room. Clover told me what's going on. This whole thing is stupid, you need to knock it off. Stupid? What about this is stupid? We're talking about my life, you self-righteous dick. Fair. I know, but yelling at each other isn't going to solve your problem. The best thing for us to do right now is to trust each other and get through this. Wouldn't you agree? Hmm. To just someone who tried to kill me. Fair. Same to you. I told you letting Dio vote was a stupid idea. What did you think he was gonna do? You might as well have pressed the button yourself. I couldn't just leave Quark alone. That's no excuse. And where do you get off telling me I shouldn't have picked Betray? Did you even think that through? What? I was supposed to pick Ally? If I'd done that, I'd be dead right now. I could say the same thing to you. Damn good thing Dio didn't choose Ally. Please, that's enough from both of you. Sigma's right. This isn't the time to be bickering with each other. Like you don't get that's right, Sigma K. 
You tried to betray Clover and escape on your own. Perhaps. But I think that's better than merely killing someone. Well, well, I only did it so that she wouldn't kill Tenmyoji. Enough already. I roared with fury, my voice echoed and rebounded off the walls of the warehouse. Everyone fell silent. I didn't know how long that silence, was la silence would last, so I decided to put it all on the table. There was only one way I was going to be able to take control of the situation. Listen to me. We really don't have time for this. I was met with a number of glares, but I soldiered on. The thing is, I figured out who planted the bombs. What? Is this what you were talking about earlier? Sort of, yeah. I know which one of you it is. Well, spit it out then. Please, explain what's going on here. Don't think I need to. Alright there, David, cheers for the follow, pal. 16 minutes ago, what is up in my... Six, it was like literally two seconds ago. <laughs> David, how are you doing, pal? What? You're all going to hear it straight from the horse's mouth. Or I guess I should say Dio's mouth. <laughs> what are you on? You think I set those bombs? Yep. Yes, I do. If you're going to accuse me, you better have some pretty damn good evidence, pal. This game is something of a brain roll. Brain rocks at the best of times. I, mean, keep, I think I've been keeping up with it, but this is all... We're at a point now where it's like, I think everything's going to come out and we're reaching like... Racing toward... Racing. We are moving towards the end. Beautiful brain rot, exactly. I'm not accusing you. I'm just stating a fact. Oh yeah? Where the hell did you get that fact? Fun as it was, I knew taunting alone wouldn't be enough to make Dale confess. He just played dumb. He was good at it, and I'd get nothing. That meant I was going to have to trick him. Well, you see, I'm actually from Free the Soul. The Soul? What's that? Some kind of hippie shoe company? Hmm. Statement from Whisper Fools was palpable. <laughs> Don't play dumb deal. I should have called you Left. Brother ordered me to come here. Keep an eye on you. It was quick, but just for a moment I saw his eyes twitch. I leapt in that moment of weakness like a hungry dog on a steak. Fine. Skepticism is understandable. Admirable even. But perhaps this will convince you. I pressed forward, pulling pull out every fact I could remember. I told Dio about brother's background and how his younger brother left had been murdered. I mentioned casually that the Myrmdons were all clones of a single person. So, still not convinced. How about this? That number. Do a little prime fact decomposition that and you'll get that number to the third power. If I'm not who I say I'm, how on earth do I possibly know that? What? No, that's not possible. Finally. Finally. That was a uh, finally. Hard stop. Just one hell of a ride. I am really enjoying it. We've got a fair bit. I'll just quite, I'll quite show you the float. So we've done a fair amount. So we're at the last sec. Well, running through the last section. Oh, we need to jump back. So we've got two undone things. A uh, back. Oh, I didn't realise that was a that was a bit bit green book. But oh yeah, need more information. But yeah, this is this is a good route so far. I think it's helped that I've already done everything on the the left. The left side, uh, so it's like we're able to just run straight through and it isn't like stopping halfway through. Let's do this, shall we? I was sent here to watch your every move. You won't be able to do the codes that the previous sent, yeah. So it's a good thing we've done it systematically then, isn't it? It seems our wise and noble brother doesn't trust you. He suspects betrayal. No, you're lying. I assure you I'm not. If you don't believe me, why don't you go outside and call him to sell your transmitter? No, no, you have to be lying. Brother trusts me. That's why he chose me for this mission. Well done, Dio. Why would he make me the leader of the Myrmidons if he? Huh? Sorry, 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 Dio. Do I just rewind? I said 
Why would he have made me the leader of the Myrmidons if... He's done it again. Yeah. I grinned. Wait. What the hell? Are you fucking kidding me? Sorry, Dio. I've never even seen brother. What was all that? How did you know all those things? Don't know. Maybe I was divinely inspired. Don't give me that shit. Love it. Uh, what's going on? What are these Myrmidons? Do you and I stare at one another while Clover and Tim Yoshi quickly explain, explain to Fai and Kay about the memory card and the number two bomb, and about the code we found it was from a terrorist organization called the Myrmidons. Somebody so you is going to have to knock them out. From the Myrmidons planted the bombs. And Dio well done, Kay. Just admitted to doing it. Mm -hmm. Bastards! I'll never forgive you. I heard a low, furious button behind me and turned to see Alice, her lips pulled back into a snarl. You probably well, someone, someone's gonna not deal it. But by 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 the way, I see this idea was a clone. You know what it's you know it's one of those things, you know. Everyday hangs. I am going to kill you. Her voice rose to a scream and she charged towards Dio. Right, Alice, Alice is going to avenge her. Hey, avenge her dad. He ducked out of the way smoothly and pulled something from his pocket. Whoa there. I like my women a little feisty. But you're taking it a little too far, sweetheart. What? Probably should have seen that coming, having a, de having, having a detonator. Didn't even think of that. You know what it is, don't you? Oh, oh my god. Is that... Is that the detonator? Exactly. And I assume you know what happens if I press this button? Yes. I think that's an unusually long thumb he's got in it. Anyway, just noticed. Anyway, that's not doing. Pure, you know, crapped out of that tension, didn't I? I'm guessing it'll set off both of the bombs. Mm, well, I wouldn't say both. You mean there's still a number one bomb? All the, found. <laughs> all the bit of detonate with. Just to make extra sure you've got full button coverage in it. Correct. And there's one more too. No. There are four bombs? I'll spoil that for myself exactly. with that side. I planted four bombs. They're the ones numbered one, two, and three, but there's also one more. Get that cinematic click. Bomb number zero. Add all that up and you're looking at about four tons of explosive power. Hold on. I have a code for bomb zero. Zero but I've got a zero bomb pass and I've got bomb num bomb number one pass. Those go off and it's all I had those codes. That's enough oomph to turn this whole place into a smoking crater. Aren't you forgetting something? That'd kill you too. So I'm ready for that. Yeah. Bomb bomb zero. I've got codes for two bombs, not the other two though, so spares. Spares? Is that what Sigma was talking about? The clones. Yeah. I heard Alice whisper something to Clover. Let's go, Clover. Show him all that training wasn't for nothing. It's like a day he should have taken more notes. Yeah. I even more notes. I've definitely not had codes for pre for other bombs. So no I haven't missed that. going to ask them some questions. Before I had the chance to ask them what was going on, they moved. Die, you bastard! Yeah! She rolled and leapt towards Dio, Clover following just behind. Alice threw a punch at Dio's face and as he dodged, Clover spun out from behind her. Oh, I'm so gutted we don't get to see this. Dio grunted and turned to focus on Alice but Clover darted in and snatched the detonator from his hands. Imagine she had that eye just clean off. Clover, get him! Right! Sigma, catch! Huh? What? Sigma just like, oh, what's happening? Before I could respond, Clover had thrown the detonator at me. I scrambled to grab it out there and held it to my chest. Not too tightly that he pressed the button, hopefully. Damn it! Stop! Let me go! Still let go of me, you asshole! That's highly unlikely. Yellen didn't do him any good and Dio found himself subdued by the skillful teamwork of Alice and Clover. Strangely though, once that hold of him he'd stopped struggling. I was reminded of a gazelle with its neck in the mouth of a lion. Had he surrendered? Doubtful. Did he have some trick up his sleeve? It didn't feel right. 
I didn't have to wait long for my misgivings to prove true. The detonator in my hand suddenly began to flash. <laughs> I said in my blood. What? Serves you right. <laughs> what are you laughing at? You, her, all of you. God, you're stupid. What? Why? See that detonator you threw to Sigma? You activated it. If it gets more than a meter away from me, it sets itself off. We figured someone might try to take it away, so we put in a little safeguard. Yeah, okay, that's smart. I'm giving that. Since you two were kind enough to take it away from me, the bombs have gone from remote control to countdown timer. Excellent. Go ahead and destroy the detonator Excellent. if you want. Won't make any difference now. The bombs are going to go off no matter what. How long do we have? Is it going to answer that? <laughs> About 30 minutes. 30 minutes. <laughs> Tim Muji is extremely calm looking. Bye is very bold. Oh no. My condolences. Well, what can we do to stop them? I told you that already. First, we need the device that allows us to input information. Then we plug it into each bomb and enter the codes. Hey, Alice, who the hell are you? How do you know all this? None of your damn business. Just tell me where the input device is. <laughs> well, that's none of your damn business. Like, he's not giving this information voluntarily. That's what I like to see. Of course. That's the plan. Please stop. Just tell me what I want to know. The worst part is the suicidal mass killer self important maniac of a cult member is actually smart. I know. They should have the decency to be a bit stupid. Okay, okay, I'll tell you. Or give under pressure. In my coat. In the right hand pocket. Clover, check it out. Right. She nodded and started digging through his pockets. After a few minutes... It's no use! There's nothing here! Did you lie to me? No! I, I swear, keep looking! Oh, wait! There is something in here! Oh, <laughs> sorry. Wrong right pocket. Clover pulled a hand from his pocket and held it out. Is that a pill for, like, for medicine? Bomb Zero is in my pants. Hey, what is this? <laughs> huh? I can't see it. Bring it over here. Come on, Clover, seriously? Friend and moved close to deal holding the pill out towards him. I think it's probably like a cyanide pill or something like that. Suddenly he moved his right hand, snaking out to grab the pill from Clover's hand. Before anyone who could react, he shoved it into his mouth. He had a tiny crack as he bit down on it. Almost immediately he grimaced in pain. Shit! What? What was that? Poison, I guess. Yeah. What? Damn! How could I be so stupid? His eyes rolled up into his head and flecks of spittle began to trickle out from the corners of his mouth. I grabbed him by the head and shook. I oh, know, like, I, Like, Clover has training, right? This has been established, she has training. And it's like, oh, it's a, it's a, it's a pill. And you're like, don't go near him. Anyway, what the hell are you doing? Where's the input device? Lost it. In my couch. Back home. Mm-hmm. I'd love a poison tooth, but I'd 100% set off. Oh, I absolutely just the most inopportune time as well. Like, like in your sleep. Don't screw with me. I mean, he's dying, so far. Fine. Don't tell us. How about you give us the deactivation codes instead? Deactivation. Hold on. <laughs> you guys are persistent. Fine. Not gonna do you much good anyway. And I'll tell you, you only get one. This is the deactivation code for bomb three. Right. You just give give me a thing. Wants to get pen and paper here. Right. So I don't. I've got bomb zero. Bomb zero is L X A Q N S G D Q, and then I've got bomb one. Bomb one is B Q Z 
R G J EXR. So we don't have one for bomb two. And then this is for bomb three. Ready? L yep. X Q L X Q L H C R N M R. Got it. Right. You may wonder. I would love one when I would use it. When would I use it? The answer I don't fucking know. Do you think it's better to have and never use than they need it and not have it? Just, you know. So, you can't see this, but that says bomb zero, bomb one, bomb two, which I have nothing for, bomb three. Don't know why I showed that. You can't see the fucking thing. Still need a code for bomb two. What about the other three? Tell us the other three. <coughs> They don't even seem to hear me. My body will be a part of the foundation of a bright future. His voice was weak and more form was struggling out of his mouth. Such a beautiful world. May brother live in everlasting glory. That was such an appropriate sound. Fantastic. Those were the last words that Dio spoke. He died with a strange, happy smile. Ah, the knob's frozen. <laughs> well, as is the rest of them. So it beats you as a what? He only gave us the password for one of the bombs. This is bad. What are we gonna do? Don't know. How much time have we got? Twenty-five minutes. Are you sure? Yes. When he told us the time, I checked my bracelet. It said exactly 30 minutes. You mean the bombs are going to go off the same time the next set of doors opens? Yes. The time on your bracelet is the time we have left. Lovely. Oh, so 25 minutes. This isn't good. I was hoping that we might be able to escape through the white doors, but it takes five minutes for the primary door to open and close, so... Yes, I know. There's no way we can get through them before the explosion happens. At least we know, right, that no bomb is going to be past the white doors. All already in places we've already been, presumably. It's a, it's a convenient, lovely time for everyone. <laughs> There's no point just standing around. We should start looking. We need three things. The password input device. Yep. And the remaining two bombs. Right. We also need passwords and... for all the bombs other than number three. Exactly. Yep. Maybe Dio has a note or something? Hold on. Let me check. She knelt down and quickly checked his pockets and sleeves and sat back in her heels frustrated. Damn. He's clean. She looked pale. Then we'll just have to hope we find it somewhere. Tenmyoji, can you go tell Luna what's happened? Right, I'm on it. Good. The rest of you, let's move out. <laughs> Here, Luna. Here's a dump information for you. We We're this. all going to die in 22 minutes. Let's go. I check, check the hat, man. Why is no one checking under the hat? We all took off. A, we all took off a run heading to different parts of the building. Could you imagine the last bomb was under his hat? Like, very fat man from Metal Gear 2. But all of our searching turned up nothing. And as we searched, the clock kept ticking. 15, 10, 5, 1. Then at last the chromatic doors opened. Time had run out. We watched the white doors open. Were they doors to heaven or to hell? The thought barely had time to flutter through my mind for everything went white. Didn't even have time to say goodbye. A thousand emotions flooded my brain in those last moments. Why? How? How had we ended up this way? In a blistering wave of heat like the surface of the sun itself wiped out any lingering thoughts.
consciousness slipped away into a bottomless pool of darkness. Neither heaven nor hell, only the void. <sighs> well. GG, mate. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that was good. That was good. How much is going to remember in this other run through, though? That's exactly how the guy died in Siege by his own bomb. <laughs> right. Oh, man. Oh, what's Alice's end? Well, that that we uh, connections board is gonna have to get changed because we got that tech. Gonna use this as QP tech. Not a problem. I will get the next section loaded up. So, do we run through the this? So, got Alice's ending. If I pull this up, actually, where is the thing? Uh, do, 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 do. Why can't I see this anymore? There it is. So, we now have Alice's ending. So we've got K's, Deals, Clover's, Alice's. I don't know what happens with four of them. Got, we still need to find out what's happening with Luna. We still need a lot of backstory for Luna. Phi, Sigma and Quark. Assuming that's going to be some of these in this flowchart. Yeah, we've got, mate, we've got the cockboard. The connections. Also, whoops, got our theories. I'm looking at the cockboard right now. So I, oh, right. So we know what's happening with, with Alice, right? So we've 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 got all that. So much. Well, do you know actually? Do you know actually? See, looking at this, looking at this flow chart here. Not long until both. Probably not long. Crash, I'm going to be honest. Not long at all. That's. I'm going to have to make a third board for all my codes. Because I've lost count of how many times I've wrote down all the bottom codes. And I still need one more. And I rewrite them every stream. So I'm going to, I'm going to need this. Code, this. I sent out Chikoshi game. All the code boards that won't fit. Fair point. What I'm thinking though. Because... Because we're taking this pretty much in order, so when we go this route and we get to this first bolt, we're going to go ally. Always go ally first. We're going to be heading in this way. I mean, this feels like it's going to be big. Feels like it's going to be a big deal. So, the flow chart for the AI sum this feels to the cockboat. Is it actually? Please tell, please tell me that's true. So, still don't know that... Wait. No, we don't know. Like, for real, excellent. I'm going to have to... Whenever I get around to that, I'm going to have to have something else. Like, I can't have a cockboard for that. I'm going, to, I'm going to come up with a flow chart. Well, that is what I'm going to do. So, if we jump back to here. So, this is AB game round one. We started with an ally. So we're going to go straight, then ally. I can't remember who I'm voting against, actually. Crew quarters. That was Fi and Alice. So I think we're voting against Alice. So she's not going to be happy. I mean, rightfully so. Oh, no, wait. We paired with Alice against Fi's solo. So what we can do is jump back here. Skip through all this. Hey, it's almost time. The green doors are fucked out of the green screen. Oh shit, have I still got a green screen on this? For God's sake. I forgot to actually take that off. So what we can do is remove that. There we go. That's much better. Much better. Right, sorry. Just in time, gonna skip through all this. So, we allied before, so now we're going to betray. 
And this is now taking us in the right side of that that route. Oops. Skip to all this, blah 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 blah. Need to play Nirvana Initiative still. Oh, as Vanna said in the AB room, I could see that I was running towards projection, shoving and pushing to get closer. Well, you chose what I wanted you to choose. Oh, she'll never be ready. You'll never be ready for it. I guess I should say thanks. You should, I. So, uh, thanks. Oh, come on, you don't need to do that. I just made the obvious Alice? choice. I'm sure Alice chose Betray. That might be pretty much hard to choose Betray, right? You know what she's going to choose. I guess you could say I just know. Are you making fun of me? Maybe. But not really. Excuse me. Enjoy the first summoning summoning files, but it's not as good as this trilogy. I love to find my chest. I can honestly see why. Let's go. We'll find out if you made the right choice. All right. Alice is not going to be happy. Good, good, good. <laughs> Looks like you're all here. Finally, let's get ready to. I can't skip these bits. If everybody would please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zero, we know. See, oh, Tamioji's done over. Alice chose ally. Interesting. Interesting. Here are the results from your game. Now, let us check the numbers on our bracelets. Tamioji and Alice are gonna be. Best. <laughs> Alice, what the hell is this? I chose betray last time, so I, I chose betray too. No, why? Wait a minute. Do you choose an ally? I still think it was Quark choose an ally. Last time, what on earth are you talking about? Can you tell me one what? thing? When exactly did you press the button? Five minutes before the deadline. There's that announcement, right? I pressed it right after that. Why? Oh, that, that can't. What's going on? When fine, I chose ally Alice Pick the tree. I just made the most rational choice. The best way to minimize risk and maximize reward in this situation is to choose betray. Anyone who thinks otherwise is, well, an idiot. This time I chose betray and her vote changed to ally. Why? What was different? It has to sometimes changed because of my choice. No, that was insane. If Alice had somehow known that I had chosen Betray and chosen Ally in response, at least that would follow the principle of cause and effect. What had just happened was something entirely different. There was no way Alice could have known what we would choose when she made her decision. Besides, if she had known we intended to betray her, there's no way she would have chosen Ally. In other words, she must have made her decision without any knowledge of ours. Let's see what's on about a game of rock, paper, scissors. I throw a rock. Right after that, Alice throws down paper. Obviously, I lose. This scene plays on whatever your second choice made us. Whatever. Let me try that again. This scene plays on whatever your second choice made. Whatever is your second choice made here. I still messed that up the first time. So. Right, so if I chose Betray first, this would choose this would show if I chose Ally next. Like if I went back to this point. That's quite cool. So I go back and time to say to whip out the scissors this time. This time Alice has chose his rock. I lose again. That's fine, because it still makes sense. My actions in the past cause Alice's actions in the future. Easy. What well, just happened in the AB game wasn't like that. Let's go back to that innocent game of rock, paper, scissors. This time Alice is the one who threw out her hand first. In this situation, there's no way for me to know what it was. So I decide to go with rock. Now Alice's choice is revealed. Turns out she went with... Paper. This game is the biggest wildest one I've seen where they actually ran with the timeline concept. 
It does seem like this is more heavily like this in 999. Like all these decisions of like definitely you can see how it's affecting everything. Damn it, I lose and I'm pissed off. So once again I go back in time and try and change history and erase my loss. Well let's choose this time. It's not even a question, it's gonna be scissors. After all, last time Alice went with the paper. Here's the important part. When I make this choice, Alice has already made her choice. Should I victory I throw out a pair of scissors? But what the hell? My rage would be white hot. How could this have happened? Why? Alice's hand has been paper before, how did it change to rock? Obviously there's no cause and effect here. Since Alice's choice in the past and mine was in the future. It's much more than the nine. Which degree is why I like it a fraction less, but I can get why people like it more due to it. I get that. Like, how can that even happen? How could the future influence the past? What? It wasn't theoretical now. This had actually happened. What the hell is going on? Oh wait, 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 wait. Why the fuck was I talking so casually about going back in time? What kind of stuff doesn't happen in real life. Right, of course. Time travel is possible. There is absolutely positively no way to travel through time. But if that was true. The best way to minimize risk and maximize reward in this situation is to choose betray. Anyone who thinks otherwise is, well, an idiot. Most people sell VLR and especially at ZTD, almost not worth playing. Hmm. My perspective VLR is folks fave and everyone likes ZTD the least, but I don't know. Oh, so it's like... ZTD is like... the third, but it's still really fucking good. So it's not like it's bad, it's just... Pales compared to the first two. It's just not a bad thing. Hey, it's still good. Did you have a stroke or something? <laughs> oh, sorry. Besides, why do I have to answer your questions? I should be the one yelling at you. Because of you two, I've only got one VP left. <laughs> you're yeah, right. you're right. What in God's name is wrong with you? I'm sorry. Really, I see these a few terrible okay. about this. I'm never going to trust you or Fi again. You'll pay for this. Fair. Alice stormed off. She threw one last hot, scornful look over her shoulder as she left, and it stabbed me right through the heart. One of the other teams seemed to be dealing with a similar issue. I really don't know what I can say. We had no idea you would choose Ally. No way I'd choose Betray. Not with Clover on the other side. What? What do you mean? Mm. Do you have an interest in Clover? <laughs> His face. <laughs> what? No, no, that's not... What is it then? Well... Um... You'd have to be crazy to pick Ally. The only way it'd make any sense to do that is if you really, really trusted the other person. Mm. CT dead. Zeti dead had budget issues and crunch. Ugh, if you look past, uh, look past a lot more, you'll possibly enjoy the best way to send up a franchise. Yeah. I'll go in with that, just kind of like, mm, okay, I'll kind of let them off a wee bit, like, put my expectations being through the roof. So you're saying you don't trust me then? Duh! Are you senile? Why the hell would I trust some old geezer I just met a few hours ago? Uh, I see. Say no more. Didn't think it'd hurt this much. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? You're starting to get kind of creepy. Creepy, huh? I understand. I guess I just haven't had enough time to earn your trust. Um, I suppose you could say that. I just didn't really expect you to be so nice about it. Well, looks like those guys managed to get through this all right. Figure that means the fault here's got to be mine. Huh? Thank Gotta put my disguise. I know I said Z. Meant to say Z. Don't worry about it. We only did what anybody else would do, right, Mr. Dio? Yeah, exactly. Dio, Quark, and Luna, on the other hand, seem to have resolved things amicably by all chosen ally. No doubt we're all uh, wishing we'd done the same. But why had Dio suddenly sounded so awkward? Why had Dio sounded so awkward? Not suddenly. What happened in the AB room? Only Dio and Quark knew for sure. Yeah, something, something's going on, man. When does the next round start? Everybody loves Luna in here. 
I don't actually never know anybody this like Sona. But it's a good gene and all. What makes you think we'll be having another round? Well, you said round one. If there's Yeah, I've had multiple rounds, Bob. I don't know. We know all this. The whole thing, if you drop below, you die, blah 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 blah. We don't know enough about Luna. Don't know if this is going to be the route that we find out more about Luna. Or if it'll be the route after that. We'll find out. Right. Oh wait, this isn't the next uh, thing. <laughs> So we've done all this bit, and then blah 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 blah, and all this, to the infirmary. Ugh, what are you doing here? Check the flow. Yep. The flow is taking us up to here. Wait. Why isn't there another... That makes it seem like there's another vault. Oh, you say I mean, shouldn't. Just ignore that. No, that that never happened. <laughs> so mad, eh? Oh, come on now, you don't have to get your panties in a bunch. That's yep. easy for you to say, Dio. You're sitting pretty at five BP. Timioji and I only have one. You do understand what that means, don't you? That's no reason to take your anger out on people. You won't get your BP back by being a jerk to him. What's this? You're gonna take his side? I thought you of all people would agree with me. I do. No, you don't. You don't get it. Place too much. This is still gonna be a choice. I know. You I know. What? I'm not like you. I'm still young. I want to live a long life. Can I just just have a last last time for that? Oh, the only bit that changed was Alice's love. What do you want? What the fuck do you want? Right, crook world as it is. I remember the choice now. <laughs> they found the book this time. Right, and there we go. That's another bomb. Boom. I remember this. There was a big bomb. And we've got the code for that bomb. Blah, blah, blah. Right. So we need to head on back. Choose which door we're going through. That's the choice. Hey, the doors are open. We need to figure out who's gonna go through which door. <laughs> what are options this time? I'm only saying this once. Just like the last time, we've got three possible combinations. Five quick little choices. Option A. Luna and I put up with Clover and go through the green door. Demi, Yoshi and Dio put up with Alice and go through the red door. Kay and Quark put up with Fi and go through the blue door. B, Luna and I put up with Fi. Demi, Yoshi and Dio put up with Clover. Kay and Quark put up with Alice. And C, Luna and I put up with Alice. Shh, this isn't going to happen. Uh, Demi, Yoshi and Dio put up with Fi. Kay and Quark with Clover. Yep, okay. How do I want to do this? You decided the first time, right? Then can yeah. I decide this time? I Why you? I deserve it. I only have one BP left. Doesn't it seem like the fair thing is to let the person who's at the greatest disadvantage choose? Fair Wouldn't enough. You agree? That means you should get to choose too. I mean, you've only got one BP, right? You've got a point. But how about we listen to what Alice wants first? So tell us, which door and which people do you want? The green door, and I want to go with K and Quark. I see. Option B, then. That means Tenmyoji and Dio will go with Clover through the blue door. Is that all right with you, Tenmyoji? Yeah, sure. I don't mind. Why? If we go through there together, that means you'll be playing against me in the next AB game. Are you really, really sure? I I'm think sure. he is. Matter of fact, that's why I want to go with you. No so choice. You trust me. No. I'd like to change your mind. I figure this will give me the chance. Um... I've been wanting to pair up with Alice, too. There's something I want to talk to you about. Oh? 
And that is. We'll get to that later. Sunday! Hell, you're back for the rest of Sunday! Yes. What about the rest of you? Is that okay too? Did you manage to get your boba tea? I thought about it for a moment. If I went with option B, then Luna and I would go through the red door with Fi. As far as I. That's how I felt about that. Oops. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it is then. I don't have any problems with it. Okay. Yes, it is. There are no objections. Then we're all set. Let's go, everybody. Ten seconds. Nine. Eight. Seven. Fire is good. I like fire. We're going to quick with one another and split up. You're going to have to wait for a little longer to achieve your dream. Unreal. That is ridiculous. You should not have your boba tea. It's Sunday. Sunday is boba tea day. They should be getting what you want else. It's, this is, it's no fair. It's not right. Uh, Cake walk and Alice headed for the green door. Well, tell me your deal. Clover ran toward the blue one. We were going for the red door because I accidentally picked. Yes. My feet slapped against the hard metal of the warehouse floor, and Luna Fi and I ran to the red chromatic door on the next stage of the nonary game. Two, one, zero. Most stable in the group. Oh, uh, bye. It's very, very level headed. Uh, bye. So we fire more and all. Is this a dead end? The doors seem to be locked. Yeah, looks like it. We got a fire mo. It looks like the thing next to the number nine door. It's got a lever. Try pulling it, Sigma. Then what have still not changed? I know. I'll get. I'll get that done for tomorrow. Right. Absolutely get it done for tomorrow. It might be dangerous. Sure. Maybe it'll trigger an explosion. Or possibly it shocks you when you pull it. Who knows? Right. Then I have no choice. Do you really think I'd say that, you heartless monster? It's nothing on either side, is there? that supposed to mean? Is that a confusion I was talking about your breasts? Okay. It's called dressing modestly. I'll have you know I'm a C cup. Okay. You're a secret pack to build and she's what is this conversation, man? You can tell you in that vein for some time until until Luna just went, I'm done with this. Open the door. Do you want to come uh, be more face so it, uh, it's more clear. Yep. It'll still be that, but just yeah, zoomed in a bit. Uh, it's being changed to a slightly bigger fat. Yep, big fat fat Mitchell. Yeah, this conversation's a bit. It's a bit different. <laughs> it sounded like you two might take a while, so I pulled the lever. Good shout, Lena. Only the one on the left opened. Well, we should get going anyway. Yeah. Yep. Let's go. Bye. Five seconds to fight like children. This is a place I have not been before. It's this place. It looks like some kind of control room. I can see a huge machine of some sort on the other side of this window. I don't think this has been mentioned before. Like, no one's mentioned this place before. Need cards with the moon on them for the next AP game, right? Okay, probably this room somewhere. Right. Let's get this done! Right. Let's have a wee look. What have we got? What do we have? It's huge. I guess it's just to analyze things. It looks like it's missing a part though. Okay, so looking for that. It's a tall screen. Don't think it's turned on. Yeah, right, so we need power for that. 
protagonist AI TSF is Date Konami. 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 Mm, I'm going to butcher that pronunciation. Someone made a meme of Sigma and is that Date instead of Date? Saying Uchiko should put us in different games because they knew we'd fuck each other. Man himself replied, Baguette cannot fit in a toaster. It's up to the other side who is the baguette. I mean, fair enough. It might be the lab where the copy machine was. I think that was. No, that was a different one. Like, that copied the. Excelivia. That was a different room. I can't remember what it's called though. Let's go with screens and buttons and so on. Okay. Don't worry about that. Look, it's a control panel, it's got screens and buttons and so on. But this looks like something. Test clipboard. A laptop. Something on the screen. It's the letter T. Do you see that thing plugged in the side of the laptop? It looks like a memory stick. Take a memory stick then. Uh, confirmed uh, Snape was gave Vera a Twitter poll as well. Oh, wait a minute. Let me change the screen, pull that thing out. Let's try plugging this thing in again. Yep, T in the screen, so it's definitely, whoops, because of that. Let's have a look. I think you can move these. It says off in the top, on in the bottom. Any information for that? There's your door, there's some books, got some sort of dense technical thing, and a novel. Doesn't look there's any clues here. Fair enough. Couple of box filled with complicated machinery. Right, can't use it because we don't know what it is. There's your thing. Red clock it says 11,400 sec on the face, not sure why. I'm sure we'll figure that out soon. It's promising, let's see here. I understand any of this is some kind of cult. Uh, Snake in a conversation about sharing a bed with Jumpy, which with the added context is very flutty. Yeah, absolutely. That is a compass and a tractor. Guess nothing else. Right. A blue clock that says 5 10 minutes. Should probably write this down. Right. So we've got a, a red clock and a blue clock. 5 10 minutes. And what was that? Was it? 11,406. Right. Almost had a look at everything. So if it's one of the crew quarters, even the puzzle panel looks similar. Let's see here. Okay. Get your pencil case ready for scale, it feels like it, doesn't it? Hello? I don't ever remember ever having to use the protractor in school. Because always like, oh, make sure you have it. And it's like, I don't think we used it. Same with the compass, actually. Right, so the red clock is... 11,400 seconds. 11,400 seconds. You know what? I'm going to try and figure this out in my head. I learned angles, but I don't think we ever used the protractor for it. Um, 160, that's 190 minutes. Um, just like 3 hours and 10 minutes. And then 510 divided by 60 is 8.5 hours. So 8 hours. 30 minutes. And that's 3 hours 10. Right. 
I wish you may measure them without. Dunno. I don't remember a lot of skill stack, stack to be fair. It was a while ago. Let's be honest. Um I don't really know what these mean. That's the sterling. And then three hours in. There we go. Sorted. A rainbow tree it? Yeah. That looks nice. Um Okay. Don't think we have anything for that. I don't have to unlock it, I just don't think I've got stuff for it. Clip over the piece of paper that says test on it. Test was written with a highlighter. Each letter is a different colour too. So you think it, the letter T you're seeing on the laptop might be an image capture by a scanner or something? Mm. Never did. I never did big circle, but yeah, we couldn't. You know what? We'll all get a compass and we'll, we'll use them for art. We don't need them for maths. Maybe this one didn't like the blue, yellow, or pink highlights. And that's when we'll look at the green T. Can't be sure, but it seems pretty likely. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's not even what I do. Oh, yeah, it's the USB stick. Um, I was like, that was why I was not slightly older than him. Yeah, the, yeah, it might have been the same school year. On off, on off, on off. That's three dog. I got left. There's a hole in the middle. Oh, so. Small hole that so was made with a needle. I think we put the compass needle in that hole. The compass isn't spreading though. I don't think you can draw a circle like that. Oh. Whoops. And what if? I think I mentioned the angle. The angle of what? There. Low magenta, I can't drink, can't drink uh, black and white. I hate when printers do that. It actually does my box in. Maybe the same school. When's your birthday? It, uh, school year September. Yeah. My birthday's November. Still would have, still would have been the same year. It's got all these pipes. Look, black and yellow lever. It says power under it. I think this chimney has electrical cables on it or something. Look, these labels will let us change the amount of the electrical current. Hmm. Okay. Surely you're in the year previous. Oh wait, actually you might have... You might be in the year above. You're one of the oldest in the year. I would be... No, I would be youngest. I, I was one of the youngest because I've turned, obviously, age 20. So I started high school. If... I started high school when I was 11. And then turned 12. In first year. So, yeah. So I was, I was one of the youngest. I think most people were already 12 when they started. Look at the 320. The lever's missing. So that replace the lever, I don't think we would do anything. That also just, yeah, I having Like being in different schools, not you like, yeah. I was young in June if this helps. It does help. <laughs> right, I think I'm missing something. So we need to power up the machine. To power up the machine, we need to do this puzzle. But to do this puzzle, we need to find one of the levers. And I'm assuming to get the lever we're going to have to open up that other uh, locker. But, oh. The 
kommt er vor. If it's September, September to August, then you're in a year after you, surely. If you're older, then you'd either be in the same year or this, the year. Well, well, actually, you know what? I started high school in 98. That's probably the easy way to put it. Nin um, yeah, I started high school in 98. It's a pretty big octopus. I think it's an annihilation reactor. Bomb. Core of the annihilation bomb would work on the same principles. Like Vine knows a lot more about me more than these things. Just read a few tidbits of information here and there. If it is what Luna thinks, it should be pretty simple. There's gonna be a bunch of matter and antimatter in there, probably hydrogen and anti-hydrogen bumping into one another. Skip that. This is Professor Layton puzzle for sure. How am I adding in facts that don't help? Uh, when they do they annihilate one another, that's when you get the name release much energy. I just calculate how much energy by taking the mass defect and it's not too complicated. Is that octopus thing is a machine that runs off annihilation energy, right? Machine's a weird way to put it. It's more like an engine, like a steam engine or an internal combustion engine, just better. All the electricity in this, this facility is generated by Mr. Octopus. So that would make this room. Yes, this is Mr. Octopus's control room. Bear dooms. Right. Hmm. That was going to do something. So it looks different. There we go. I started my GCSEs, that would be 2000 and one. Started in 98, going to second year in 99, going to third year in 2000, going to fourth year in 2001. So I would have done my GCSEs in 2001 and fourth year. But again, like, it's different up here as well. Well, it's off now, there's no point in crying over split levers. Maybe we can use it somewhere else. Like... Back here. Did you catch up in the last one where I accidentally spoiled it somehow? What did you spoil again? Oh... Nearly ended the stream there by accident. Right, let's put this here. Oh yeah, I went to put in 69, 69, that was, yeah, that was one of them. <laughs> um, let's switch with this thing. I found a manual on the floor over there that says this machine doesn't really use electricity in a conventional way. Those tubes use some kind of special liquid to transmit electricity. Actually, it's pretty complicated. The simple version is you can adjust the voltage by adjusting the flow of the liquid. So let's say it's on the rightmost lever all the way to the left. Do that. All liquid come from 240 will go to the left tube. Turn all the way to the right. And it goes to the right tube. Which will be in the middle. And it'll get split. Each pipe with 120 instead of that. Yeah. So let's deal with the question marks. Those represent unknowns in the target values. The one with three question marks means it's supposed to be a three digit number. The one with only two it means there are two digit numbers. And of course, a single question mark means the value is only a single digit. What about the ones that just start with three? Well, I guess that means the hundreds digit has to be three. So question mark four, question mark means tens digit has to be four. And question mark, question mark five means ones digit has to be five. Yes, right. We need to adjust the label so the liquid gives us the right numbers on the bottom. Once you've got the label set, pull the power. I think Abbott covers it. Liquid will only flow from top to bottom. The manual was very specific about that. Okay, let's do the thing. Right, so put that right and that gets split down. So that's a whole 240. And then that's like that. So that'll get split to 105. So then 120 
Oh no wait, 240 plus 105 is 355. So that would fit. So then 105. Hmm. No. Wait, 105 would go here, but then. Ah uh, no. Hmm. So that'd be 105. No, that would work. That would not work. But if I did this way, so then 210. So it's still 210 here, and then it gets split. 105. And then 105 in here. Plus 240. Right, so that side's fine, right? The the left side. Left side's good. Um This is a single digit. That could be zero. So we could do this and this. And then I do this, so the whole 240 go mm, that wouldn't work either, would it? Unless it's that. Nah, I don't think I was right. Right, so these are right, so that's definitely zero. That's too much. Hmm. So these numbers definitely right. That's definitely right. This is right. These three are wrong. Hmm. I didn't actually change anything by doing that, did I? Mickelson, smickly pickle. <laughs> smickly pickle. That is brilliant. Evil Diesel, cheers for that pal. Five whole months. How are you? It has been a while. I was actually wondering, it's been a while since I've seen your stream or even seen online. How is everything? How is yourself? Hope, hope you're doing good. Yeah, that's sub is massively appreciated. Massively appreciated. Ah, you're part, part of the proper member of the Brew Crew. Just so you know. Yeah, Davey, I'm the same. <laughs> I hate pants. Oh, right. I do this. Oh, it's gonna yeah, that's gonna change that. That's wrong. So this is still right. So that is definitely 105. <sighs> I'm mad how much seems to January stop using twelves. They basically don't exist. Yeah, not using Twitter's not not a bad thing. Just not a bad thing. But I've been I have been good. Not mate, that's not that I'm just streaming away. Nothing no big life changes or anything like that. It's just trucking along. Still alive. It's just something, apparently. But what's what's been happening with you? How are things? How are things in the life of Evil Diesel? Still milling over if we're in the same school year or not? Probably not. I don't know, I feel like you would have been a year above. Which been a year above? Oh, I, don't know. I think it probably been the same year. Probably the same year. Possibly. No, I think. No, I think. I think it would have been the same year. It's on the same age. September to August. Oh, fuck, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how the English school system works. I don't know how they figure it out. So. It could be. You know what? It's. It's showing our skill. We were in the same year or not the same year. You know the start of that? I'm at the end. They're fought in the year above. Year, year, see, even read it as year above, year before. I don't know. Aside, the guy's the answer is I don't know. I don't know. It's been a while since school. It's not right. It's even worse. Yeah, because now that isn't anything. 
Let me go to 105. Oh, wait. Nah, that's not definitely wrong. That goes here. It's on his way out. Jesus. Uh, can't play new jobs, a bit heavy, but very rewarding. That's new report. Here, if it's rewarding, the heaviness, that's like, that'll fizzle it. Just not by the high going to finally start Baldur's Gate now. Mate, thank you so much for that sub. It's much appreciated. Even more appreciated the fact you popped in to say hi, but enjoy Baldur's Gate. And, well, actually, we'll catch up here unless it's like messaged through this. But, actually, before you go, there is a new Discord, Able Diesel, if, if you fancy it for this. Yeah. Get the Team of Streamers Discord if you want to jump in. Say hello. Just, just to say hi. There's a place that we can say hi. Um, Chronicle, what's up? Chronicle, hello, by the way. How are you doing? We started my game show stream yesterday. If you tried just ripping the puzzle at the wall, see, honestly, I would if I could. Summer holidays, see, it was summer holidays there. Summer holidays finished last week here, so school's just about to start, so kids born in this month onwards would start. Right. So kids born before now would have to be in school for one year, if I want to say system, hence I'm right. And I'm a fuck. Can't. It, look. It's just. It's the confusion. Like, can we not just both be right and wrong at the same time? So, I didn't know when your skills started back. So. I'm not arguing. I'm saying I didn't realise the school, the school holidays were still on in England. Just because it was finished. Was it last week or was it the week before? Something that roll now you roll for genitals. Good luck rolling for genitals. Good luck. Why do I need to keep track about when school started? I have, I don't have kids. I'm not going to school. I don't need to keep track of this. So I don't need to keep track of this since I left school in like 2003. God, man, I like high school in 2003. It was it 2004? God, I don't even want to think about it. I do not want to think about it. Right. So this is right. This ends in five. Unless I do that. Mm, that's not going to work. It's going to end in zero that way. No, that needs to. That split, and if that goes that way, that's right. But we need. This. Right. So that's those two. Doing that. So that's 320. Hmm. Oh, that's not 320. That's 160. Fuck. So that means we need to split that on that. Those two are right. Right, we're getting there. Jane, I'm very annoyed. We need to keep track of basic information from like 12 years of your life and things that still can affect you regardless of pep stays. Such a bullshit excuse to be wrong. I wouldn't say so. Like, kids going to school doesn't affect me. I don't know why it would either. Like, I don't need to be in the office, so, like, travel doesn't mean anything. And if I do need to travel to work, I'm on the bus from, like, half six, so again, it doesn't affect me. Don't need to know. Remember in Valentine? Oh, I don't... I barely remember what happened last year. I'm not going to remember school. The most hated school holiday schedule to be involved in me. Brad, how are you doing? Oh, there we go. Oh. Sorted. So that's this powered up. 
which means we can scan it. Something with it. So I am not signaling you. I don't know why I keep saying that I am, because I'm not. I was saying I don't remember. I just thought you would have been in. I thought you would have been in the year above. But obviously not. We've probably been in the same year. So, fair enough. I'm not disagreeing. I, I stopped disagreeing ages ago. Nothing happens when you touch it. So, do I need to do something with this? So, I'm going to grab the get along shot. I think it's gross. It's not gross. Do I need to do something with this button? No. I think I'm missing something else still. I said it being above and you said it being the same year. So, I, whatever one you say, you're like, cool, you're right. You cannot combat them. And maybe a dunce hat. Uh, give, give me the dunce hat. Ah, there we are. Don't think we're needing this anymore. We haven't even used it. We haven't actually used it. Um, I thought I needed the expanded compass for this. So what do I need it for then? Two bundles of folded cardboard boxes, just like the ones behind us. Look at the space between the boxes to the left. Oh! Stab fight that mission makes a fight. That may be what we use it for. Let's try moving them. And there we go! Nothing in here. Rope made, made of polypropylene. Oops. Right, so we have that. Does that mean though? We cannot combine the items. Find them? Nope. So. What does that mean? Um, oh, I just realised that's the key of this. So if I'd paid more attention to that, then I uh, would have figured that out well before now. Oh well. Right, here we are. Um, so figured that puzzle. Figured out. Because it, uh, it's not going to work because the leaf fell off. Right, so we don't need to do anything over that. It's control panel. Can't do anything with this. All that. Can we have done unnecessary mass? I know. I could have just looked properly at the picture next to me. And it would have been done. Oh well. Right. So what have we got? This board. This paper has four rows of four digit numbers. The colours of each digit seem to be random. Green, blue, yellow, pink. Oh, well, look at highlight colours. So if I. Oh, wait a minute. Let's go back. Let's go back. The screen, the clipboard is still there. Showing pictures in the camera on top of the screen. Not on the screen, of course, it's not free from that camera. You have a point. <laughs> right, so let's see. If I put this back in, look at this. It's only showing green. I don't know if that is going to mean it in 3, 2, 7, 1. 
So. Um, can we get three to someone this? Mm, doesn't look like it. Green. Oh, that's not the one I want to look at, is it? Alright, so if we look at the green, three, two, seven, one. Could that be the code for that for 32071? Then how do we get that from here? Oh wait, that's seven. That's what I meant to do. So three, two, seven. Oh fuck this isn't there. One. Oh, fucking idiot. One times zero is fucking zero, isn't it? So, get three, two, seven. Um, one. No. Earth that can even look at it from here. Mm, no. No. I'll go back to skill. Here. Yeah. No again. <laughs> right. Two plus one is three. Two. Seven. Definitely right. The most ask me. It's funny. I had the same power all these years later. <laughs> I think it's going to have the same power for quite a while yet. Leave the thing in here, I did. It's the screen. Got this. Streamer colour blindness of some sort, possibly. Possibly. Elle's proven to get me the coolest person here. I'd say so. So. Not what to do. Um, I can only see the green showing up. Unless they're ripping something and they're not green, not red. <laughs> I'm very cool. Else, you are very, very cool. Um, you know what? I can't remember what I was doing. Oh, yeah. Um, I can't do that. Go to got 5843. You can't get that. Could get five eight four three actually. Not that. Don't fucking know what I'm supposed to be doing here. So just to answer me this, right? This clipboard 
is something to do with this puzzle. Is that right? I almost forgot. So this. I can't get my name. Something if anyone else knew they might join in. <laughs> so we've got test bit clipboard, numbers clipboard. Don't have to do anything with this just yet. Four rows of four digit numbers, digits are random colours, apparently letting with four different highlighters. Can't combine them. Can't combine. Hey, that's fine. What do you think? Oops. Right. What do you think the green code is? I thought the green code was the answer to that. So like first digit is three, second digit is two, third digit is seven, last digit is one. But that's obviously not it because that's what I've tried. I can see the arrow. Oh, pardon me. Sorry. Oh. So I thought I, I could see the arrow, so it's like, go in that... Oh, wait a minute. Well, I was starting at three because I thought that was something to do with, like, when you put this in the... or when that scanned, you couldn't see the other colours. So you could only see the green T. So I assumed that we'd only have to use the green numbers. The arrow starts on the left, yeah, so from left to right, but only needing the green numbers. The arrow. The arrow's pointing right. So you go from left to right. Oh, I see. Um, no, obviously, I don't see. Fuck sake. So I thought we start with the rightmost number, seven, two, one, three. So that would be. Seven, two. Oh wait, hold on. one, three. That was my fault. I put that in wrong. But yeah, from left to right. That is the part of the machine that we're missing. Right. Fit. There we go. Yeah. Zero times zero, at zero times anything is zero. So, definitely need to go back to school. Even just to improve my memory. Well, let's do this. Ready for it to use this. Right, so do the thing. Seen a CT scanner. Uh, one of those things that can take pictures of cross section of cross sections of your brain and organs and stuff. Uh, it can image things all in the human body too, like this root. Yeah. Right. <sighs> like if you hundreds of nothing, still have nothing. Uh, so it's seen on the left is a slice of that root. I think so. What are we supposed to do then? I think trial and error is going to be the best the best way to figure this one out. Just start messing with it and we'll see what happens. Alright. Dragging up and down where the image of the root is displayed will allow you to scroll between layers. The bottom layer has eight circles of different colours. Four of those circles are blank. Assign an appropriate number for each circle. The numbers you can use are displayed below the cross section you can move the numbers where they need to go by dragging them. Okay. Just 
let me have a look. Don't know if I'm gonna need this, but oh. um, I think this is kind of similar to one I did before. Think similar. Um, you know what? I'm writing this down wrong. Hold on. The right. So if we do it in the order that that says, so yellow is six. Two, that's one set. This one is seven, two, one, three. Right. Let's have a look. So they scan that up. Got fractions, man. Fractions. Okay. Um. In eighteen. Oh, I, don't, I don't know what any of this means. <sighs> Fuck, I don't know. I do not know. There actually. Go systematically. Right, hold on. Right, let's just. Right. So all the numbers added together, all the colors added together are 100. That's right so far. That's a quarter. That's a fifth. That's also a fifth. Uh, no, it's not. Mm, ten, three, ten, three tenths. So what would that be? That's the only ones, isn't it? It's just it's those three layers. Two, three, right. Uh, go up, I would say, Chase, he learnt the trick at 10 years old. Never knew he had it in him. Animals, animals are smart, aren't they? A lot smarter than me, apparently. Right. Oops. Oh, dragging up. Right, okay. Let's see what I did. I'm working along the right lines. Okay. Um. So all the, num all the numbers I've got... Is this to do with the clipboard? Or just... They're completely disregard the clipboard just now. You know, because he was a sad boy, then he didn't have treats. Yeah. Smart, no, smart enough to know a uh, bump treats. Okay, right, don't need clipboards, right. Cool. Just done the page, so I'm not, not distracted. So do not need the clipboard. So. Why didn't that work? Two sex. Why didn't that work? It's there. Oh, any of my sounds working? I don't know if any of these are working. GG what? So why didn't... 
That works. Right, two six. Um save that. Oops. Let's see if that changes it. I don't know why this isn't working. Deal worked. Um why are none of these working? That works. Right, so half this half the sounds aren't working. That's fucking grand. Right. Else I'll get that sorted for tomorrow. Because that should work. Although I tested a couple of ones that didn't work, so I'm just gonna have to go through all of them and see what ones do and don't work. But I'll have that fixed. Don't you worry. We'll get we chase back on here. Right, so 100. Right, so that's all the numbers added up are 100. So then they start getting split into fractions. So the yellow is a quarter. So that would be 25. <coughs> um, quarter. Alright, brew, brew doesn't work either. Don't know fucking why these don't work. So yellow is 25. Uh, it's 100. This boy is locked on. So divide by 20, it's just 50. No, that's not right. That is not right. It's 5 times 6, it's 30. So green is 30. You have to be on the cup for it. Uh, maybe. Maybe we'll see. So that's that. And then red is three hundred right. So red is twenty. So then that is signified. So blue blue must be ten. Is that right? No, that can't be right. Um because they all would add up to hundred, so that's thirty, fifty-five. Oh wait, 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 wait. No. That's my fault. I have added up wrong. Blue would also be 25. Which means that blue is 10. That other green is 9. That is 6. And red is 8. There we go. Should it? There we go. The colour changed. That is the green one. Thank you. And the AV room. That's some, that's some good mass. I figured it out. But there is a second thing I need to do. Come out of that. So this can I can math sometimes. So we've got a protractor. It's just not going to let us do anything with that. But we haven't actually used the protractor other than to open it up. I don't think we can do anything else with this. No, cover boxes, cover boxes. Papers, papers, right. There is something else I have missed. Um, cover boxes. Nothing there. These. Did you get in the locker next to the next to the Yeah, I that was the first one I did. What does I get for this again? Oh that's where I got the, the roots from. Uh, so that was the clock uh, puzzle. So go on this one. Go on this one. The 
this. I can't do this again, can I? Power's already on. Right, okay, so definitely don't need to do that. Yeah, I got that one, yeah, I think just at the start. So we'll look around, there is nothing else here. Mm, can't use that again, can't use this. Um, I don't actually know what else I'm missing here. Uh, Shame of Colors of Rainbow, so really can't do like anything else with that. It's just not going to really do anything else. Nope. Um, hmm. I don't know what else I'm missing unless. No. So I can't, I can't re put codes in. No, it won't let me combine the papers. No, I can't combine them. Oh. Okay. Oh. Uh. Okay. Right. Well. Fair enough. <laughs> to combine it with the USB stick for some reason. Okay. Uh, star Moon Star. That was too easy. That was weird. Oh, pass. Uh, star Moon Star. That was just really odd. You know what? Got it. We've got it. We shall not complain. Hey, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, just two more. Swimsuit. For some reason, Sigma, or perhaps the author, seems to be unnaturally obsessed with swimsuits. Why is that? Was he involved in a horrible swimsuit accident? Never pressed in his youth. Did he have a crush in high, in high school and a girl on the swim team who put her Olympic aspirations ahead of any possible romance? Is he just a pair of? The world may never know. This device, what is this? Password input device. This device can be used in an emergency to activate the antimatter bombs hidden throughout the facility. Doesn't really have an official name. Sometimes it's called the designated computer terminal, but sometimes it's just the input device. Excuse me. The device has a small QWERTY keyboard beneath an LSD display, LCD display. On the top is a large black cable which can be attached to the bomb you wish to deactivate. Entering the correct password on the keyboard will stop the detonation. The antimatter reactor. I oh, know I don't know. I don't even know why I say this. In a general sense, an antimatter reactor is a system that generates electricity or some other form of power from the matter antimatter reactions. This facility uses hydrogen and antihydrogen. The reaction power a turbine which generates energy and powers everything in the facility. It looks like a gigantic octopus, but it's definitely not edible no matter how you cook it. Anti-hydrogen atom. One particular type of antimatter, normally hydrogen atoms, have one proton and one electron, but an anti-hydrogen atom has opposite one antiproton and one positron. In November 2010, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, CERN, issued a statement announcing that they had captured an anti-hydrogen atom. They claimed they had gathered 38 of them, in fact, and managed to hold them in a special container for 0.2 seconds. Less than six months later, in July 2011, eh, ju July? June 2011. <laughs> oh, yeah, LSD, I acid. Must be what it is. Eh, less than six months later, in June 2011, they managed to capture several more anti-hydrogen atoms in container for more than 1,000 seconds. Although the creation and storage of antimatter is still a difficult obstacle, these results suggest that antimatter reactors could someday be a possibility. TNT equivalent. 
TNT is often used as a reference point when discussing the power of explosive devices. Specifically, explosive power is usually described by tonnage. The amount of energy one tonne of TNT produces is approximately 4.184 gigajoules. This means that an explosion, dis explosion device with an output of 1 megaton generates 4.184 petajoules. No <laughs> acid, I don't know, fuck. Oh, so honestly, acid, I don't know. How the fuck am I supposed to know what that is? I just know it's called LSD as well. That's all I know. Uh, TNT stands for Trinity Tallow No Tronti Tilitrin No Trinity Bagel Ah yes Trinitrotiline Trinitrotiline That's it It's one of the most common explosives which is how it became How it came to be a reference point A kilogram of TNT is 4.184 megajoules of energy But a kilogram of butter has 30 megajoules Butter is some dangerous stuff E equals MC squared Einstein's famous equation. Put simply, it means that energy is equal to mass times the speed of light uh, squared. It describes how much energy you'd get by annihilating matter with antimatter a lot, but also carries the interesting implication that without enough energy, you could theoretically create matter. 63 terajoules. The amount of energy you get by combining 350 milligrams each of matter and antimatter. You can get this number by using the equation E equals mc squared. What do you get when you convert 700 milligrams to kilograms? 7.0 times 10 to the minus fourth 0 0.0007 kilograms. Then what is the speed of light? About 300,000 kilometers per second. If you convert that to meters, you get 3.0 times 10 to the eighth, or about 3 billion meters per second. And what if you square that? 9 times 10 to the 16th. And then you multiply that times the original mass, you'd get 63 times 10 to the 12th, 63 trillion. Yes. <laughs> uh, pass, 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 control room. Sun, moon, moon. Sun, moon, moon. Right, let's see what we get with this. Opened. Let's get our prizes. First, we've got a map. It says Flow B. Of course, it's 4A, so the one in the We came down here using an elevator, so that would make A the top floor. Cool. A for above, B for below. Does that seem ominous? Is that not the as above, so below thing? Moving on, our next prize is. Ambidex keys. There are moon cards, the announcer was talking about. Now we can play the next AB game. So I'm a solo, so I'll take one. Same with you. Yep, go for it. We get two other things left. I've seen one of them before, but this one is some kind of input device that has a cable on it and a cable connected to the top. We are collecting them all. Let's just take it with us for now. We are getting there, we are getting away to disarm the bombs. And the key. No one's screwing around. Move. Cheek a cheeky wee keyboard. With a wee code, a wee uh, cable to plug into things. Like bombs. Three, two, one. Always with a kept down a Sigma. We did it. Gate has been opened. 45 minutes remain. That'll be deal then, I. Maybe someone from another team opened one of them. They must have found a moon card. Mm-hmm. But why the hell is just going to open one of those on their own? Get back upstairs. Whoever jumped the gun is probably in the warehouse. Right. Let's go. Ho <laughs> ho. Imagine plot twist if it was quark. And a little PDA that can that can disable the bombs. Yep. Do you know? No, I was going to say. Do you think Dio does this so we can go plant the bombs? But then he's always in the room, and he went, "No, nah, that did it." So what? Oh, is it actually? See if he 
say if Dale goes in, if he opens the room, could he go in and vote? And then jump out whilst everyone else is in voting and plant a bomb somewhere? Oh, that's right, you got in first side, so all of them are already planted then. Although, actually... Uh, the, the, and the, the groups go and walk about a lot. Yeah, I, the bombs are already there, yeah. So I was second, did we not find the bombs when we went looking and then we found more, but yeah. Aye. So we must have done that before everyone woke up. Are some of the lower levels. So we must have planted ones on this level, and then when the doors open, they go walk about. Oh, sure, it'll be re revealed soon. We let out of the magenta door and into the warehouse. There stood Tim, Yoshi, Dio, and Clover. What the hell is this? Why join one of the AB rooms for the rest of us go back? Dio didn't feel like waiting, I guess. <laughs> you got a problem? Yeah, yeah, I do have a problem. Bomb two, <laughs> bomb two, and the Ian. The last, not the. Why is, why is Ian got a bomb in him? Why? I remember saying anything about waiting until everyone got back to open the AB rooms. Are you kidding me? We didn't talk about it because we thought it was common sense. Sing was right. We were able to get back quickly, but the others could still be stuck somewhere. Mm -hmm. They can't get back in time. No sooner were the words out of her mouth. And oh they come. Goodness, you're all here. Does something yes. happen? It's Quark, you see. What? What happened to Quark? He collapsed. It happened so suddenly. We were just searching our room. Ooh. What? Please, you must hurry to the infirmary. This condition could change at any moment. You should go. Oh no. It's not good. Tim usually shoved Kia aside and leapt through the yellow door. The rest of us exchanged a few startled looks, then ran off after them. yourself yep kid's getting all stabby again Tim Yoshi grabbed Quark's shoulders and began to shake him desperately it was Clover who stopped him he's sick and we don't even know what's wrong with him what if you make him worse <sighs> then what am I supposed to do I have to save him save well, that seems a little extreme maybe he just has anemia or something no that's not it I know him better than any of you he doesn't have anemia He's never just collapsed before. Well, then call an ambulance and stop freaking out about it. You son of a bitch. This is serious. The infirmary seems pretty well equipped. There are plenty of diagnostic tools, but without a doctor, there's not going to be much we can do. Yeah, I know that's good before. We did have this conversation before, so it's I. So, Ganem, oh my god, it's Radical 6, and it's like, what? And you control him? All that I had was a bunch of stuff controlling the generator. It's like anybody would put meds in there. What about you, Kay? Was there any medicine in your room? I'm terribly sorry. There was nothing of the sort in the archives. Books and so on in abundance, but no medicine. Oh god. Then he's... Oh god, no. Look, just to be sure, where are the three of you go? Some place called the Bee Garden. It was right. kind of like a park with trees and stuff. Yeah. But... No medicine. Maybe some medicinal plants? Tim Yoji slumped to the ground. For a moment, there was silence. Quark? Quark! Oh, thank God! You're awake! Get away from me! What? Quark, what are you- <sighs> Sorry, Grandpa. I can't. I- I have to- Have to- So we've done all this, and then we stop him, knock him out. Presumably. But there's, there's no cure, though. So yeah, definitely radical sex, and there's Alice. Running off. No one here, huh? Where'd she go? No point in complaining, I just need to look somewhere else. I turned and headed towards the exit. Right, so... We know she's in the garden. Well, the last route. There's five found her in the garden. So really don't know where Sigmund's gone this time.
this isn't the garden, this is the archives. It's the garden's the big crescent shaped room. Do Alice and Quark go in a room together in this route? I think they did. I'm actually trying to remember. Wait. No, actually, I think they did go together in this route because it was Temioji, Clover, and I must have been K, Quark, and Alice. That was in a room. And Clover Dio Clover Dio and Temioji in one room. So I, I think she went where I'm in this in that. But then everybody's been around everybody, so it could just be that Alice is more susceptible to getting Radical Six, maybe? See if we just skip to the next one. Okay, Quark and Alice, there you go. Sink. And try to remember and figure it out. But I did remember, so. That's not here either. We need to find her quick or she's going to do something bad. If she loses the Quark dead, then nobody's around to stop her. Shit, I need to hurry. I said to try the garden where Clover, Temi, Yoshi, and Dio had gone after passing through the door. And there we go. We're making it to the garden. It's weird that the garden has never even been talked about in all the previous runs. When I with my dad's in the event, I was the only one. <laughs> yes. So unfair. First thing I noticed when I stepped inside was the smell. Plant life was everywhere and the air was filled with the fresh scent. 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 Scent of it growing. Underlaid with a sweet dry temporary, but these ass cheeks are legendary. <laughs> Monica, how is it going, pal? How are you? How's your weekend been? Uh, the tones of dead leaves on the foot. Well, the air outside had been drying harsh, and here it was warm and wet like a forest after a spring rain. Just like Clover said, plants and stuff everywhere. If it banished to my room, don't I want to move? I ask it what it's like. If anyone has it, COVID and no one else does. It's like you're in that room. You do not leave the threshold of that room. Unless it's like to the bathroom and then you know, wipe everything done. I've uh, been looking across so many things. Oh, that's, not, that's quite all right. See, knowing that we're just, we're just the background noise to your day. Nothing wrong with that at all. How is your weekend? Like, good busy though? It's not like stressful busy then. But it's, it's gone good. It's gone pretty good. Make some decent progress with this. It's, it's going well, I think. Well, this and the weekend overall, I think. A lot slower than the past. Still slightly stunned. Most of the facility, the facility had been cold, dull, metal, but this room was positively verdant. So there was something like this here. What the hell is this even for? Strange to guard moss. Alice needs to be my priority. I'll bring my thoughts back in and continued down off the path and into the grass. The best one was I got given a bottle of pop to sip on and didn't I didn't notice for two days. <laughs> I was in bed with me. Oh L's. This is horrible. Uh, good busy pal came back today from his football week, so spending some time with him. Nice. How is he? How is the football week? Did he enjoy it? And what he's been getting up to? I've only got a few steps when I stop shot. There we go. Alice has been found. Did you miss an EB game? Nope. The doors got opened and then Kay's like, oh my god, Quark passed it. Quark woke up. Quark tried to stab somebody. We knocked him out. Alice turned up. Has the knife, and then we went to find Alice. There you are. Good. I'm glad you showed up. I just got here a minute ago. She was like this when I found her. When you showed up, I was getting ready to take her to the infirmary. Aye, right, same as before. So. Yeah. 
Her breathing and pulse seem normal. Hmm. She doesn't appear to have any obvious external wounds. I have done all this, but we'll let me skip. She's just unconscious. A bit scalpel. Look like she has it. Figure she probably dropped it on the way here. Hmm. Anyway, we need to get her to the infirmary. Give me a hand here. Wait. Right. Hold on. There's something I need to tell you. Just stay calm. Look to what? the right. My right. Your right. Your right. Exactly. We have found the bomb. Wait. Still one bomb we don't know the location of. That wasn't here when I went through this before. I'm pretty sure someone didn't move it here from the crew quarters. Uh, Steam finish setting is beyond happy. Nice. Excellent. Tell him well done. Proud, proud of him. Well, proud of the team. Uh, this week was a very nice sea resort, so he's proper relaxed and a bit, a bit jealous. Oh, that sounds good. Oh, nice, nice sea resort. Sounds like just perfection. I right, tell, tell him GG for us, man. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's an entirely different bomb. Look at the Let's have the number one. It's probably the one who knocked Alice out of the. Bonus. Chills out. Chills. That's not for me. That is not for me. That's someone's partner. It's been GG tested. Thank you. It's not a problem. We're all proud of the team in here. It says one. That was three. Two. Two is the one we don't have calls for. Is that it? Don't. Didn't we spam talks. All good. Bye. Dee was probably the one that knocked out Alice at the bottom of the seal, so she was probably there all like spaced and he's like Fuck. I can find out. Or oh, it's like she's not seen me, so knocked her out. Then ran so this is when he's been planting this eh uh, uh, the bombs. I've got more good news. I do have the keypad. Just think about the numbers for a moment. Saying there's a two bomb at there somewhere. I can't be sure, but it does seem pretty likely. Damn it! That means we're talking about explosion the size of three tons of TNT. Clover, we set up. Tenmyoji and Dio investigated the garden. There's also a chance someone else set it. Anyone could have come here after they left and before we showed up. Like Dio. Anyway, we need to move Alice. Help me out here. Alice was later than I expected, and Fi and I managed to set off toward the infirmary at a brisk trot. Right, so bomb zero is in the crew quarters. Bomb one All right, please pay attention, is in the garden. Everyone. You need to hear this. The Atom has finished scanning Alice. What did it say? Her results are identical to Quartz. She has also been infected with Radical Six. Yep. I mean, that's kind of obvious. So, bomb one. I don't really think I need to note down the locations, but around it anyway. Garden. Zero is. Oh, wait, was it zero? I can't actually remember what was in the crew was. Uh, if I called everyone else back after I brought Alice in the family, seven sets of eyes widened as Luna spoke. Like I said before, there's only one way to cure Radical Six. It's a special antiviral treatment. Whether or not there's Excelibia. any around, No, no! Oh, Alice, I don't want you to die! Please, please don't die! I don't want to be alone! Don't die! <laughs> Can we let Alice and Quark for the bombs? Well, yeah. <laughs> Clover wrapped her arms around Alice's unconscious body and began to sob. None of us had the heart to pull her off, so we, all we could do was stand and watch him comfortably. Ten minutes remain. All players, please enter your votes. If no vote is recorded. Yeah, yeah. Uh, guys, I think we should get back to the warehouse. What about Alice and Quark? I guess we're just gonna have to leave him behind. No, I'm not leaving. I'm Clover. staying here. Like heck, I'm gonna leave Alice all alone. She's going to be fine. I gave her some soparil. She'll just be sleeping like Quark. I don't care. I just, 
I just want to stay with her. She shouldn't have to be all by herself. Well, she's not quacks there. So whatever. She can do what she wants. I see. Dio and Tenmyoji's opponent in the next A B game is Clover. If she doesn't vote, then she'll default to ally. I think we're missing whatever you say. <laughs> I think we're missing either location is zero. I'm pretty sure we've seen one, two, and three, but we don't have a code for two. We've got the code for zero, one, and three. Which I don't think I need to mention would be pretty favorable for Dio. If she stays, he's got an easy round. Yep. Whoa. What are you saying? You think I'm gonna choose betray? Yep. Yeah. Am I wrong? Yes. Of course I'm gonna pick ally. For one, Tenmyoji's gonna be in there with me. I can't just ignore his opinion and make my own choice, right? No, I won't be going. I can't leave Quark here when he's like this. I'll be staying, just like Clover. Hey, come on now. What is this? Knock it off, Dio. He's too smart to let you make a scapegoat out of him. What the hell? Why are you so suspicious of me? Because you're dodgy. Yes. What if Dio stays behind too? If Clover, Tenmyoji, and Dio all don't vote, then everyone allies. Right? That's a good shout, oh, Luna. You don't know? Know what? This. You didn't find a note like this one? Oh, yeah. Huh? Wait, what's this? We found it in the archives. Well, there sure as hell wasn't anything like that in the garden. We didn't find one in the control room yeah. either. Yeah. I had a member. It's not a good chip. <laughs> Interesting. Apparently, only the archive had one. Why don't you read it for us, Sigma? Okay. I know. I know. Here's the rules. Not voting is not an option. Both parties used to vote. Yeah, everybody gets penalised. That was it. One person at every color group, three has to vote. <laughs> Sigma balls. Each trio must vote. That means K Park and Alice certainly aren't in any condition to. If he doesn't, all three of them are screwed. Yep. Wait a second. K's got six BP right now. His opponent is going to have to default to ally. Absolutely, man. It has, has to be said. If K chooses Betray, he's going to have nine points. You needn't worry. I have every intention of choosing ally. Oh, give me a break. You expect so, yeah. us to just swallow your bullshit? Oh, dear. Dio, please, think for a moment. You do realize that Alice currently only has one BP, don't you? If I were to betray her, what would happen? Anyone whose BP drops to zero gets penalized. Yeah. I am not. Therefore, Oops. I will definitely choose ally. I'm not suggesting to escape that we will not kill. Kill. Indeed. I really have no choice. Unless, of course, I wish to become a murderer. I um, mean, you've had previous. Five minutes remain. We don't have time to argue about this. There's only one solution. Clover, you're going to have to go vote for us. Huh? What does that mean? What, did I use big words? <laughs> it means this. I no one wants to kill the killer. I've never seen someone move that fast before, let alone someone all, as old as Tim Yoshi. In the blink of an eye, he covered a few feet between himself and Dio and slammed a closed fist into the other man's chest. <coughs> Dio fell at his knees, wheezing for air. Tim Yoshi waited half a second to make sure he was down and turned to look at Clover. He's not gonna stay down forever. Get out of here, Clover. B but you and Kay are in the same position now. I've only got one BP, just like Alice. Interesting. So long as Ten Miyoji doesn't vote, Clover's only choice is to choose Ally. Hmm. <sighs> Admittedly, there is a chance she might kill me. Are Are you saying you trust me with your life? That's about the size of it. What the hell are you standing around? Get. You don't need to worry about Alice. I'll keep a good eye on her. I promise. Now get moving. You still don't trust me. N no, that's not it at all. I trust you. I just... Can't win the dumb dumb. We need to go. Come on. Okay, take care of Alice. She'll be fine. I mean, I can't believe it's taking this long for something to just knock out a deal this early on. That seemed to finally satisfy it and we were off. We ran as fast as we could, leaping through doors and tearing through rooms on our way back to the warehouse.
Everybody ready? Yeah. Well, I'm in cut. Yes, Get. Then let's go. Four AB gates yawned open as we swiped our cards. The fifth one, the one at D, was opened, stayed empty. I think it's probably because without him involved, it can hurt others and all they don't want to be responsible for his death. Yeah, as much as he's asking for it and everybody wants to. The sixth, which would have been Alice's, remained unopened. He and Clover quickly entered the second and third on the right and Lon and I headed toward our own. Hold on a minute. What? We're going to choose Ally, right? That's the plan. Of course we are. You promise. Cross sure, I heart. promise. Cross my heart. Be in a world of hurt if you double cross me. Don't sweat it. I'm a man of my word. This one. For this round anyway. Uh, five round but said nothing and disappeared in her own AV room, the second from the left. Lena and I nodded to one another and headed for the last one, the leftmost room. Start. I would be too sad killing Dio. He's a shady, he's a shady bench. One minute remains until I say most folks don't want to be killers. Closes. I mean that is that is fair into it. So where are we? I chose the wrong door. That's annoying. Oh wait, let's go this way. Ah oh, well. Oh well. What are you going to do? I think what I'm gonna do is save it here. I know it's not very systematic and it's completely thrown off my whole flow and I hate it. I hate it. I don't I, I just don't like it. What I'm gonna do is call it there because it is half past and I can stop. Yes, I'm ending I'm leaving it leaving it on a cliffhanger sign. Because I think tomorrow, tomorrow I'll be getting through this section and then that section that I was meant to be doing this run. Because we're doing this tomorrow. See, it's, 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 it's coming back. The label on the cliffhanger, then that. Let's go here. So yeah, so this, this even. Okay, it's doing the right way. It's my exact, exact amount. It's my self cows. I need to go get myself fed. I have not been eating right for the past few days. Yesterday, I didn't even notice I hadn't ate anything until dinner. And wonder why I was firing through it. I hadn't actually ate till like, but six ish. Today, all I've had is a wrap. So I've had no breakfast, I had a small wrap for lunch, so like, I need to really. Sorry for not being active. Zarek, don't ever apologise. You don't have to apologise for being active. So. Don't ever worry about it. You're all good. See, knowing you're here lurking, it's enough for me. I know. I've not been eating properly for the past few days, so I need to... I need to get on that. Hip-hop, Mick. Exactly. So save that. Come out of that. Cut the game. Get these chins on. Right, so. I'm, si I'm here silently watching and judging you. Zarek, don't expect any less, pal. Monica, I'm sorry. I'm going to I'm going to go and take care of myself. I'm going to go have some dinner now. Uh, let's see who's on. Let's see who is on. Mikey was maybe on. Was he not? Played some really awful, awful Zelda game. Yes, he's still on, so we can do it. Just going to drop you off. What Zelda game was it again? The Wand of Gamelon. Gamelon? I don't know how you pronounce that. But, yeah, but... Hey, uh, can't to wake up. Yeah, this is getting you up and getting your Monday started right. So 9 a.m. BST, we will continue with Virtual Last Awards. We will be voting ally and voting betray, and then we're going to go the no route. For I came up with the question was, or do you agree that this is the way it should be set up? Uh, man, man. But we'll go over and see Mikey and see what this awful awful Zelda games about but yeah this is it tomorrow 9am most and more virtuals last reward 
Then we're back on Final Fantasy X and choose the Thursday. And I'm back on Sunday. Although, I, I think Sunday might be a bit of a mop-up session, like kind of going through... <laughs> love that wee symbol bit at the end. So ridiculous, but love it. Um, depending if we get through that route, Sunday might be the mop-up thing we're going through and finally figuring out what is going on, like fully. Because we'll have done pretty much everything. But you know what? We'll see what happens tomorrow. So yeah. Thank you all for being here. It's massively appreciated. Crash for the raid. Davy for the follow. Abel Diesel with the resub. Just appreciate every single one he's doing. I know. I know. I've got ahead of myself before. Special 999 was halfway through and I'm like, here, I'll maybe we'll figure out the end of this. And I was like, what? Ten parts later, and I'm like, oh, that's the end. But yeah, you know what? I won't get ahead of myself. I'm here solely focusing on the story and all the twists and turns and all the revelations and all of that. And I'm looking forward to it. But we'll see what happens tomorrow because, well, we're going to have to see the end of this route. And then we're going to do the no route. And we'll see how that turns out because I think there's going to be a big low drop in no route. So. Be here for that tomorrow, but like I said, I'm going to head off, enjoy my dinner, see what see what's there, see what I can make. But thank you all for being here. I massively appreciate every single one of you. Hopefully, catch you all tomorrow morning or tomorrow, or tomorrow afternoon. Something something nice to watch for your lunch. Same with you, Zarek. But till then, take care of yourselves. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday, whatever you're up to. I'll be here tomorrow morning. I'll hopefully catch you all then. See you later.